All right. We live on YouTube. So, hey, what's up, Stanley? What's up, Bitcoin? Yo, 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 yo. Oh, what's the scope, man? What's up? What's happening, man? Everything is happening, Stanley. It's just you know, we have some history being made right now. You know, so much is going on. Man, it's going crazy out here, right? Right now, I mean, this this space is moving so fast right now. Oh, I can't, I can't even believe it right now. We 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 definitely in a fast lane, right? Yeah, I've never seen so much excitement, so much confusion. You know, what do you think is happening, man? I mean, are we okay? Is this the end of Bitcoin or is this a new beginning? What do you think? Um, man, this is it, definitely it's definitely a new beginning. You know what I'm saying? People are starting to wake up. That's for sure. Uh, people are starting to realize and recognize uh, what Bitcoin is and, and, and the power, the purchasing power that it really has, right? Uh, but but I guess people nervous about this new, this this hard fork that's evident right now, or, or the supposed or alleged hard fork, right? People, right. this Bitcoin Cash, everybody worry about the Bitcoin Cash, which mm-hmm. what, 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 I, I'm already knowing that, well, they say BIP91 has been activated right now, and that's more leading towards that seg with 2X, right? Right. So if that's going on right now, then, um, you know, all of the miners are kind of like signaling, signaling into that direction right now. Right. Yeah. So, so if the Bitcoin uh, fork or the Bitcoin cash was was the, they decide to fork right now, it, 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 it almost be like a, a failed launch or a failed fork. So mm-hmm. uh, we, we still we still um, we still waiting behind drive. We still waiting behind drive trying to figure out what's going to happen and when it's going to happen. Well, let me see who this is calling my phone, man. The phone be going crazy off the hook, too, man. Mm-hmm. Let me see this. No, no. Oh, that's my... Man, I got the phones ringing everywhere. Sorry about that. Yeah, but I'm telling you, everybody everybody going crazy. They trying to figure out what's going on. What's up over there, though, Oh, What you got? You always tell me what the information is, man. What's going on? Man, I, uh, you know, I think this is a new beginning. Like you said earlier, this is going to bring a lot of attention to the Bitcoin. Uh, so it's going to be good, you know, no matter what happens. You know, if, um, you know, I've always kind of looked and thought that the fork might be good or to go with Roger Veer, but everybody was so against it, you know, but, you know, I'm still kind of like, okay with whatever, man, you know, because, you know, it's all about, you know, being with a community and sticking to what you believe, you know, Bitcoin is not going anywhere. So it's about, you know, staying fast to what you believe in, man. Does that make sense? You know, it makes sense to me, man. You got to You got to stick fast to what you believe in. And that's 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 kind of like what what what's been, you know, causing the people to kick the can down the road for so long already. You know, uh, they they, they kind of trying to stick in, stick to the stick to the code. You know, the blueprint what Satoshi laid down. You know, right. other people want to kind of like you know, you know, uh, go against the grain. So, yeah. you know, but right now, man, things are booming, man. When you look into the altcoins, you know, what I'm saying things are booming, right? Boom. It's still booming, man. I look at uh, Ethereum. You know, this is one of the first times I've seen big me Ethereum out more volume than Bitcoin. You know, I'm looking at the other altcoins. You know, one of my favorites are doing good. You know, so it's a good time. Look at this, right? Oh man, it's a lot of green. Haven't seen green in weeks like this. I'm telling you, right? The green carpet is rolled out. People ain't seen green in weeks. Let me see. This is probably an old, slu- old one. I'll refresh this green right here. I mean, how how can you be depressed with all this green going on? Look at that. Whoa! So Ethereum take me. Bitcoin taking a little hit here. Yeah, Ethereum so, is up. Ethereum is up, definitely. Ethereum is up. Ripple, up. Litecoin booming. How long will this last? Is this a new beginning here? Look at this. Looks good. Look, to me. Everybody live right now, though, man. I got, I got a uh, look. Uh, we got World Crypto Network is live. Trayvon live right now. Digital Co- uh, uh, Gold is live right now. A lot of these people who are very opinionated in this space too, man. I've been kind of like taking, I've been playing the shadows and stuff for a minute, right? Oh, yeah, man. Right. It's time for you to come on out, man, with the real. Yeah, man. I got to jump into conversations, man, because I definitely got something to say, man. With what's going on uh, with a lot of the markets, man? Um, but what, what's what's uh, what, what? Look, uh, Trayvon say he dumping his Bitcoin cash right now live. Where's Bitcoin cash being traded at right now? Huh? 
on um it's on over on uh Kraken. Kraken, they already split the tokens over there on Kraken. Yeah. Okay. I don't have any coins on Kraken. Yeah, Kraken kind of new, man. That's new for me. I got over there and uh fiddled around. I got some coins over there. Yeah, I'm not trading on Kraken right now, but let me see where's this at. Give me one second. Yeah, I'm not trading on Kraken right now, but let me see where's this at. Mm -hmm. Are you, are you holding on some bitcoins? Give me one second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I got bitcoins. Yeah, good. Yeah. yeah, man, give me a second. I'm trying to set it. I'm trying to set this back up over here. What you got going on over there, man? What you looking at? I know you're looking at some money over there. Well, yeah, well, thank God my uh, economy is doing good. You know, I really believe in that, man. I go with all in. So I went all in with economy and, um, you know, I like that bit. Bertasium, so I'm there, and it's looking good today. So I don't have any complaints. Bitrix too. Bit, Bitrix, uh, um, you know, Bitcoin Cash on Bitrix too. Let me close some of these windows out, man, so I can kind of manage what's going on. Got a, I know I got a lot of information to give out, but I want to see what's going on with this Bitcoin Cash because that's a topic of conversation of everybody's conversation this morning, right? It's August first. This is the Bitcoin um, hard fork. This is what everybody has been hyped up about. Yeah. Let me see. Yvette, Yvette just told me, Yvette watching us live right now. Shout out to Yvette, Miss Yvette. Hey, Queen. Mama, what's up? Um, uh, hey, let's go share the screen over here on Bitrix. And Bitrix is a, a, another cryptocurrency exchange where you can actually go uh, and buy, sell, and trade these different digital currencies for profit. And it's real easy to get started over here. Only thing you have to do is register. And the only thing they ask for is just a, 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 a name and an email address. All right. Um, mm -hmm. And when you get over here, uh, if you want to make a deposit on one of these sites, it's easy to go and make a deposit. Um, but let's go and check out this BCC market. This is what I want to see. Wait a minute. You know, that has the same uh, call letters as uh, BitConnect, BitConnect on it. Absolutely. Yep. The same ticket is BitConnect. Mm -hmm. BCC. I don't see it right here being traded right here. <clears throat> you know, it, it may be on Polonia next. I looked on Polonia next already too, see if it's trading over there. Okay, well, it's definitely on Kraken. It's on Kraken already for sure, huh? Let me see. Bitcoin Cash is definitely going to fail. If Bitcoin Cash tries to take off right now, it's probably going to be a very, very bad thing for him. Let me see. I like that real quick. Yeah, it's been very volatile. It's been up and down, man. It's been jumping 10 to 20%. Okay, cool. Oh, wings. Um, what if I go to Kraken? Oh, what else going on? Tell me about what else everybody what everybody else is talking about. Tell me what's going on. What's the what's what's the what's <laughs> what's the word on the street, man? For real, on on the yeah. line. Everybody's shaking in their boots, Stanley. They shake it, man. They uh, they don't know what to do. <laughs> I mean, I ain't never seen so many uh so much nervousness, so much uncertainty, so much fear and doubt since I've been in the game, man. They gone, man. They hide. They don't. I don't know, man. It's that. Only the eagles come out in the storm. The eagles, right? The eagles yeah. fly high. Yeah, the eagles come out in the storm, man. That's why you, you know, came out. It's a good time. <laughs> right. So they looking around. They trying to get information. 
you know, we're not going to really know. To, so I think we're, we're still we haven't forked yet. So I think we got another 20 minutes before we really know something before people can calm down or have any certainty about anything. Right, 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 right. And I'm not seeing it over. Um, let me see. I'm not seeing it over here neither. Mm -hmm. What Trayvon, that man, pop on Trayvon and see what he what he's calling himself trading this at or, or dumping all this Bitcoin cash shit. Okay, Trayvon, he's over here on. He's looking at. Okay, let's see. Trayvon skipping around. We got Ken Bozak. He's on. Yeah. Yeah. Then um, Bitcoin T Bitcoin uh, Live is on. Shit Talk is on. It's deep, but yeah. Cabrera, he have you seen Cabrera before? It's a nice channel, man. This guy, he's pretty wise. He's a smart guy. Mm -hmm. Let me see. So um, I'll, let me share. Let me share this screen real quick, and I just, you know, because this is some of the some of the um some of the only news that popped up, and then other than that, we got to find out what what you guys if you guys have some some coin cash, where you can get access to it. At wait a minute, share my screen. So this is Coin Telegraph right here. Coin Telegraph is saying Bitcoin Civil War is over, but Bitcoin price set for extreme volatility. We already seen the market drop uh, about um, how much did it drop already? About two percent, two three percent. Bitcoin is trading about twenty six ninety nine. Uh, but they say uh, this is the three year Civil War, which was so thoroughly divided, uh, which thought it divided the community into armed camps. Appeared to be, and it appeared to come to a close with the activation of BIP-91, all right? Uh, and the BIP-91 is the first step, like I said, to implement that SegWit 2X scalability proposal, which is being supported by the vast majority of the economic actors and miners, all right? So everybody in this space is already kind of like supporting uh, this SegWit 2X or this BIP-91, okay? So if we were to have like a, this Bitcoin cash split, it's almost gonna be ignored uh, by, again, uh, the traders, okay, uh, by the miners, all right, and, and the people, uh, the, the voice of the Bitcoin period, all right. So if we got all of the power <coughs> against what uh, this Bitcoin cash is offering, uh, then, hey, it's, that's a, it's a failed project, right? Uh, Bitcoin cash is supported by some notable members of the Big Block camp, like Roger Veer, okay, Bitcoin Jesus. Um, but even though we got, you know, Bitcoin Jesus or Roger Veer, uh, with all of the, you know, influence that he has those over this space, mm -hmm. it may not be enough. I mean, that's my opinion of it, you know. Um, let me see. Let's see. August 4th, it will, it will hard fork from the Bitcoin network causing a chain split. Uh, and like I say, most people do expect this to be a non-event with the Bitcoin cash immediately being re regulated to altcoin status. All right. So, People are going to already downplay this. You already heard uh, Coinbase, what Coinbase said. Coinbase was not going to support it. All right? Coinbase does not support altcoins, period. So uh, if you got 
if you got the big boys saying that they're not going to roll with it, then, um, you know, that stuff kind of like rolls downhill. Um, I wonder if I can pull up that, you know, what, what Coinbase said, if I can pull up a uh, the memo for you guys. But anyway. Yeah, hey, Stan, let me ask you, man. Let me go. Let me. Let me ask you. Okay, so you say the war is over. This is the end. We won, or the set with won. That's what's going on here. I mean, I mean, it's still, we still got to wait for the smoke to clear and everything. You know, they can. You know, people could turn on they they miners right now, and they can start pointing their power to. Uh, they can start pointing their power to Bitcoin Cash, and uh, again, we we got to fight. Um, but uh, as of right now, Bip ninety one has already been activated. So that means the sell the, the the miners are allocating their power to that to that direction right there mm -hmm. all right okay so you said that there is no split going to happen at this point i don't see i don't see a split we did i did have a website up where, where it was monitoring the bitcoin fork let me see if i can pull that back up bitcoin fork uh, so i can take a deep breath now i mean so it's not not quite we're not quite off over this thing Right, it was not we're not quite over it. We gotta wait for the you know you know again you gotta sustain itself for uh, for a while before you know it can go into complete effect. Hold on. What am I looking for again? Huh? The mind. I got it on this window back here. I'm sorry. Mm. You know, some big BTC fork monitor info and it's back up again. So I'll go right here and tell me if you can see my screen, right? Okay. I see it. No Ooh. chain split detected. No chain split detected. Okay, we got no Bitcoin core. You can see this right here. Then I got no user activated uh, soft fork or the Bit 148. And then I got no BTC one, which is said with two uh, X, and then they say I got no ABC Bitcoin Cash or B Cash, mm -hmm. and um, let me see, Seg Signal Bit ninety one only. Okay, so what this one is the only one that's the different color, so it says, let me see, has experienced blockchain reorganization? No, has not forked, but it's behind other nodes. Yes. This no scheduled change split has occurred. Mm. This website is warning users that the Bitcoin blockchain experience the chain split due to various various four proposals such as SEG with 2x, Bit148 use activated soft fork. If a chain split is detected, there will be a red warning banner at the top of the page stating that a chain split has been detected. Once a chain split has been detected, the status for each node will update with the block height of the most recent split from other nodes and the hash of the block at that height. The site will also warn if a node has fallen behind one of the other nodes or has not split onto a different chain from one from other node. It will also warn if one of the nodes has recently experienced a blockchain reorganization. Okay, so how does the website work? The website runs on a node for each of the nodes displayed above. The process runs every 10 seconds to check and see if each of the nodes has diverged from each other. To avoid triggering uh, the warning in cases of orphan blocks and latency, the site will only warn if a chain split of more than two blocks is detected. So right now, uh, it has not experienced a, re a blockchain reorganization, uh, but it has not forked, but it is behind the other nodes right now. So it has not forked, but it is behind the other nodes right now. So um, that's that. You can monitor that at btcforkmonitor.info. Um, that's definitely when you, when you want to be following that. Mm -hmm. That's the coin market cap. If you guys got some uh, money, 
right? If people got some money to dump in the markets right now, I mean, I wouldn't say now was the time, but uh, last couple of days we have been seeing the red tag sale, right? Right. You got some favorites in here? Look, Ethereum looks good. Oh, yeah, BitShares, EOS, EOS. Man, that would be a good thing to have. Look at that. Yep, it's still doing good. Be connecting the red. Yes, sir, by almost 20%. I haven't seen that, though. For a good time to buy. That's your theory? Buying the red? Selling yeah, I mean, I'm buying in the red. I don't know about nobody else, but mm -hmm. definitely picking up something in the red. Um, let me see what else going on down here. Check on the chat box and stuff. I owe them. I owe them. Um, yeah. I guess looking good to me. So, um, let me see what else going on. Oh. Bcash. Bcash. Bcash, Bitcoin cash. Oh. Where is that? Mm -hmm. Oh, CNBC just posted something eight minutes ago. Bitcoin falls. Futures for new Bitcoin cash leap as miners officially split the currency. Bitcoin falls. Futures for new Bitcoin cash leap as miners officially split a, a split. And Bitcoin into Bitcoin cash took effect this morning. Uh, Bitcoin prices edged lower Tuesday morning. Futures of the new currency Bitcoin cash reserve earlier losses and shot higher. Let's see. Wow. Bitcoin traded slightly lower Tuesday morning as, a dis, as, as digital currency miners officially completed the process to split the currency in two, according to the Bitcoin magazine. Mm -hmm. And just for the new Bitcoin Cash, an alternative version promoted by a minority of developers briefly jumped 48% to $422 before giving back some of the gains to trading at 375 as of 10. Following months of disagreement over how to scale Bitcoin, a software over? upgrade known as a fork. Can you hear that? Yeah, I hear it. Yeah, sounds good. Following months of disagreement over how to scale Bitcoin. Uh-oh. And now that Thomas Lee at Fundstrat, who sees Bitcoin hitting 55,000 in five years, says if sent. Uh -oh. Following months of disagreement over how to scale Bitcoin, a software upgrade known as a fork will activate in just about two hours time. If a large percentage of miners pick this option, Bitcoin will diverge, creating two competing digital currencies. Anyone who holds Bitcoin before the split will likely hold coins on both chains after the split, but make sure your exchange supports Bitcoin Cash. There's already a lot of exchanges like Coinbase, the largest exchange, which says it will not support the new currency. And to ensure Bitcoin's price doesn't see a huge swing, Coinbase is suspending trading activity today to avoid disruptions. That's the equivalent of TD Ameritrade or Charles Schwab saying we're halting trade on all stocks due to a software That's upgrade. Crazy. It is crazy, right? <laughs> that just tells you how yeah, Bitcoin is in this its is. infancy. Believers, though, in this new Bitcoin, specifically from China, say in order for the digital currency to rival PayPal, Visa, and other digital platforms, these updates are essential. Also point out that Thomas Lee at Fundstrat, who sees Bitcoin hitting 55,000 in five years, says if central banks start incorporating Bitcoin, then it will gain more legitimacy 
And that's why software upgrades like this are needed. Meaning that this may not be the only time that it's taken out for an entire day. That's exactly like right. This. More forks, as we were discussing yesterday, are expected to happen just as more demand drives um, the software upgrade to actually happen. So, uh, whoever that whoever that was that we just uh, watched uh, speaking for CNBC, she definitely um, is a, a lot more informed than a lot of the people that I I, I see uh, on CNBC. But anyway, that's exactly what's going on right now. Um, well, I think the market has several things that are happening. You have a synchronized growth. Let's see. Uh, okay, they everybody is on the money now. Yeah. Bitcoin block was just mine. A Bitcoin block was just mine. That's invalid for Bitcoin uh, cash nodes. That means the chain is now forked. Bitcoin cash is now one block behind. The online magazine said on its live fork at 9.24 a.m. Bitcoin data website, BTC fork monitor, also confirmed the split. Bitcoin traded more than 5.5% lower near 2017 after dropping to a low of 2670 early in the morning, according to Coindesk. The digital currency rose more than 10% and now has more than doubled in value this year. Digital currency miners could officially begin coding the new Bitcoin uh, Bitcoin Cash blockchain after 8:20 a.m. Eastern Tuesday. Analysts estimated the Bitcoin split. And Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash would occur by 10 a.m. Kraken Bitcoin Cash is now trading live. So it's BCH on Kraken. That's the ticker on Kraken BCH. Mm-hmm. Kraken, which is which has about 10% of the U.S. dollar Bitcoin trade value, announced uh, in in a tweet Tuesday at 9:35 a.m. that the Bitcoin Cash is now trading live. However, Coinbase, like I said, will not support the new Bitcoin Cash. Um, you know, the firm operates as the GDAX, which said in the email alert uh, that the temporarily disabled Bitcoin withdrawals and deposits on Tuesday in, in preparation to the upcoming fork. Now, Bitfinex, all right, which has nearly a third of the U.S. dollar of Bitcoin trade value, tweeted on Tuesday morning, we will stop processing BTC deposits at noon. UTC until the situation has settled. Deposits after that time will not be eligible for BCH. Mm. Man, this, this is why they call it the wild, wild west. I mean, they, like they said, like she said, she said uh, these these guys, these big exchanges like this, uh, uh, stopping stopping withdrawals. Though those guys holding withdrawals and they're holding trades in these trading pairs. That's equivalent to, uh, um, you know, these big stock brokers, you know, or these big, you know, United States stock exchange. That's equivalent to those guys saying that they're halting withdrawals. So mm-hmm. it's it, it's a lot of money tied up in this thing. I mean, there's a lot of companies that have big big, you know, uh, big amounts of their trade their trade value, big amounts of their purse tied up in these markets all right we've seen btc uh go down this week uh and that's like that's what is it 10 percent of the entire trade value all right in the cryptocurrency markets not just in the united states but the entire um, world trade trade value so uh that's that's a big hit for a lot of the traders a lot of the business a lot of the investors period so uh yeah we got we got um man we got some a lot of stuff happening you know, and we're trying to figure out whether or not this BTC is going to be supported. You know, and people are trying to figure out where to get their BTC from. Um, but since I see right now, uh, Kraken is trading it, um, and also Bitfinex, uh, they said they're going to stop processing BTC deposits at noon UTC and until the situation is set up. But guess what? The deposits after that time will not be eligible for that BCH hard fork. Okay, Kraken. If you have some money over there in Kraken, you can now trade um, your BCH or Bitcoin Cash over there. Mm-hmm. So that means if I had some Bitcoin over there, I would all that would have double. I would have double the amount. If I had say, a Bitcoin over there, now I would have my BTC, my 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 Bitcoin Cash over there, and I could trade my Bitcoin Cash. And look like they're doing pretty good. They over there booming, ain't they? 
Um, you got Bitcoin on cracking right now. You got your Bitcoin cash. And it's up. You know, so, you know, does that mean like you had to take it out of your uh, uh, heart wallet and put it on Kraken and download your, your your keys and all that stuff? What? Hey, now, look at that. Is that serious? Oh, my God. This for a second. Go back over to yes, um, Jared Allen. I, I I have used um coin coin mommy once before. It's been a while, but yes. PPT, event, PPT. Yeah, I think I dumped my populace. I think, I think PPT was the ticket for populace. And so, yeah, I'm right back on. Let me see if I can. Let me see, password must be at least eight characters in this. back over here because I'm no showing you guys I'm trying to shine up on um cracking I haven't been over here for a minute Pause this for a minute to do this real quick, just in case I don't compromise my account. Um,
What what coin am I iron right now? Uh, well, right now I'm just trying to see what's up with Bitcoin Cash for right now. Okay. Okay, it's key right here. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Let me see if I can do this real quick. Uh, not stop the share. I'm pause the share. Is what I'm gonna do. All right. So cool. Um, let's see. I can fund this account. I actually just want to see the exchange real quick. BCH. I got no data on the on the chart for for um Cool. Now we're cooking with grease. Let me check and see what's going on with my viewers. If you guys got any questions, please ask the questions right there in the chat box. I'm kind of trying to keep my eye on the chat box. If you got any questions, you need help getting started um, if, or anything, anything, everything, this is what you need to be asking me at. Uh, I'm gonna be, you know, trying to stay, um, you know, live through most of this, all right? Um, if you guys haven't already started protecting your coins, you definitely want to get you a wallet set up. Uh, one, a wallet that you actually have control of, where you actually have control of your, uh, your private keys. Okay, so um, if you don't have a Bitcoin wallet already, then I'll just you know leave it in the chat box. I'll drop a link, show you where you can get started with one at, and uh, you, you help you get up to speed with, with kind of what's going on with this discussion. I'm looking at this, um, you know, this, this Bitcoin Cash chart, and I'm looking at it on Kraken. Hey. Um, so here's the order books right here. Um, 
See people aren't buying it for what? This is so who That's awesome. You're doing some exciting stuff over there. Success. Giving them away. It's a giveaway. <laughs> it's a giveaway. Bitcoin. The boomers. That ether is 19. Wait a minute. I'm dropping. I'm on it. Wow. Look, look. Let me show you how. It. Hispanic. Crypto's live? Yeah. Is crypto live? Mm, definitely a lot of positive energy around here. This, we see these guys. I'm all smiles with this thing. For real, man. This is uh, this is the life. No, you're not even live. <laughs> Who else is live, man? <laughs> Champagne. Champagne. He's the only one that's really. We'll go back to Ken in a minute. <laughs> The breakfast club. Handing out Where's uh, Miss Yvette at? Miss Yvette, where are you at right now? Check, take this link, jump on here with me real quick. Um, 
Right. You don't have to come in with the video, just come in uh, on the phone or something like that for me. Because I know you're kind of following a lot of the stuff that's going on. Hey, hey, let me try to unmute you real quick. Give me one second. How it's going, man? Hey, what's going on, Miss Yvette? Ain't hey, nothing much, man. Just say, trying to figure this out like you. A lot of people confused. <laughs> A lot of people are confused with what's going on right now, right? Because, uh, you know, after the four, after, even if it don't fork, you still got something coming up again later this month. Right. Like uh, eight to nine days from now, so. Everybody take money out the market, like like O said, man. They panicking. <laughs> yeah, everybody is panicking. We seen, we seen, like we seen a drop right now in the Bitcoin price. Right now, it's just going right, down. right. And then a lot of people buying the altcoins. That's why you're seeing the altcoins go up too. You know, a lot of people saying, "Screw it, I'm just gonna buy altcoins and I'll jump back into Bitcoin when the price fall." When the price go back up, right? Uh, yeah, they waiting on the dip. Well, a lot of people waiting for it to dip. You know, this is a buying opportunity. This is definitely a better buying opportunity. I always call it the pay tag sales. Every time I see the markets are down. Right. It's a buying opportunity for the bulls. Mm -hmm. You know, people that's, that's not scared, they're just getting that dry powder ready, that money. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, that's what I did. I cashed out a lot of my coins last week when it turned green on mm -hmm. Friday. I right. just said, I'm get my dry powder ready because, you know, I don't want to sit on these coins. <laughs> the market's market going to be all over the place. 
Yeah, we've seen an increase in Ethereum just uh, just in the past 24 hours. It's up about- man, I wish I would have held on to my Ethereum now. I'm like, man, I should have held on to my Ethereum, but it's okay. It'll go it'll dip again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's still it's still in a dip, if you ask me. I mean, if we look over just like the past, uh, um, you know, two months or so, uh, Ethereum is still in a dip, and it's, got, it's, it's, it's coming for a recovery period. It's about time for a recovery. Yeah. You know, yesterday I spent the day uh, just going to different YouTube channels and stuff, and you know, it, it's a lot of confusing out there. Right. What's going on? What's some of the th- what's what's some of the conversations? Uh, what they well, one of the things that I was seeing them, you know, on everybody's channel was uh, people got money, but they don't know where to put it. Right. And it's it's right now everybody focusing on Bitcoin, but there's other other coins out there, good coins that's making good returns, but. Bitcoin is taking all the attention away, so people don't know what to do with their money. They right. say, "Okay, stop my Bitcoin. Now, what do I do?" Right, right, right. That's 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 <laughs> that's a good yeah. thing. People are uh, they 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 don't know what to do. They kind of like caught up in the buzz of what's going on with Bitcoin. Okay. They, they hoarding their bitcoins right now because they they don't know what's going to happen. They don't want to risk losing them. So uh, right. Is they just holding on to them? We've seen a lot of the markets uh, growing by like up to up five to ten percent, you know. And like I said, just the last twenty four hours, and we were right. just you know red market for like the past what week or so. Last two weeks, we've just been seeing red, 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 red. red. Yeah, They're stressing the holdings and the, because you know some of the times people some sometimes people come into the you know this cryptocurrency world and then they start they they mm-hmm. understand. And they start diversifying their coins across the board. And then, like you've seen just the past week, everything is just down. So a lot of those holdings, whether you were holding in Bitcoin or whether you were holding in some other altcoin, all of that stuff right. just take a dip. So, yeah. um, you know, it's like, but that was a buying time. That was a buying time. And right now, if you would have bought then, you would have been seeing uh, uh, profits of five. You see your profits right now. Yeah. Five to t- I five took my profits on Friday. On Friday, then, yep, I took my because you know every Friday, three days, yeah. Uh-huh. So I said I'm not gonna take my chances. I'm just to take mine off the table because you know right. I want I wanted to catch the dip on the on the Bitcoin, right? So I I only, only everything I have I'm holding long term. You know my my Veritas and my my pillar. Uh, right. I, I got a little bit of uh um ten X and uh. You know that's it. That everything my Litecoin, I'm 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 hollering that. Right, you hollering on the Litecoin. That's a good. Oh, I'm hollering that man for dear life, dear I'm, life. I'm, I'm hollering that Litecoin. So people, people you know, just, I'm looking at this as a buying opportunity to get into Bitcoin because you know I ain't never been, I haven't never been heavily into Bitcoin. Right, you weren't holding Bitcoin that much, right? Mm, no, I was just using it to buy tokens and you know whatever I had left. I just. I didn't worry about it. Like I got about forty dollars for sitting on Coinbase, but I'm not. Gonna, I don't. I'm, I'm not worried about it. It's forty dollars. Yeah. You know? So, they, well, do you want to get your Bitcoin? They send me an email. Oh my ass! I don't yeah. need it. It's forty dollars. Right. Is it worth the hassle, huh? You know, because yeah, you know. in a private wallet, import your keys, and you know, for forty dollars, just leave it there. <laughs> right. right. So yeah, I was like, like uh, 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 July 29th is when we seen that big dip, that big buying opportunity. Look, I'm just looking at the Litecoin markets right now. So mm-hmm. that thing dropped down almost $36. dollars mm-hmm. 36 and that would have been prime time for people to buy in. So right yep. now. When I first bought it, I bought it at 29 You bought it, you caught it, yeah, you caught it, you caught it when it was on its way up to where it's at right now. Yeah, I caught it at twenty nine. Then I bought in at thirty six, and mm-hmm. then everything's been in the forties. Right, right. So you yeah. caught you caught it during this during this come up time right here. That was, yeah. that was right in prime time. This is a three month chart right here. And we yeah, see, I mean, Litecoin just in the past three months go from about fifteen bucks all the way to where it's at right now, which is like forty forty five bucks. Peeking out at about. Well, I, one thing I like about Litecoin, it's not erratic. It's not all over the place. You know, you'll see a little dip, a mm-hmm. little bit. You know, it's it's not it's not real volatile to the markets. Right. Not, you know, not, 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 not Right. 
we seen we yeah. seen a lot of these coins in the top ten. They they kind of run like a, a, a real stable operation for the most part. Of course, it's still volatile. Yeah. Yeah. But once the coins, you once once it settles, um, they they, mm-hmm. they kind of like hold hold steady for the most part, unless it's like some you know some major uh, newest event that happens or you know some you know real influential person that gets in mm-hmm. and, and says some one way or the other on the market, then uh, yeah. But uh, I mean these oh. coins are steady going up. I mean Ethereum, Ethereum was two hundred dollars for the last couple of days. Uh, yes. uh, Litecoin was about thirty nine forty bucks for the last couple of days. Now Dash was about one hundred and seventy five dollars or so for the last few days. Uh, mm-hmm. Monero was a good uh, a, a good buying opportunity at about thirty nine dollars. Uh, so uh, and again, a lot of these coins are are seeing dips. Look, we got BitConnect down here, which is very popular in the marketplace right now. It's actually down like nineteen. Uh, percent right now uh they've kind of like halted uh withdrawals and deposits over there um, yeah but but uh a lot of a lot of people are doing that uh, because of, again we we upon this this uncertain time with this bitcoin cat bitcoin hard for so a lot of people are kind of like doing that and like you say a lot of people are going to these altcoins and just dumping into these altcoins yeah so you know it's a lot of people well, now, like uh, you and O was saying earlier in the in the live feed, uh, right. it's bringing a lot of attention to Bitcoin, mm-hmm. and you got a lot of new money waiting to get into Bitcoin. Right, a lot of people that never been in space before, were like, what's this Bitcoin all about? You know, because that's all they've been talking about every day, even on the Money Channel, on CNBC. That's all they're talking about, basically. It's yeah. Bitcoin. Bit- I just think that, you know, because I wasn't never a real big advocate of CNBC and, and their conversations when it comes to like Bitcoin and stuff like that, because mm-hmm. I knew they were very, very uneducated about their market. So when I see them come in, it was almost like comical. But I just pulled up a a, a, a news a news um, segment right now where they were talking about Bitcoin and they seem to be on the money now. Here it is right now. Um, huh? They've been interviewing people that... uh. That's in the know with the Bitcoin. Like uh, they had uh, in China on CNBC had a uh, Charlie Lee on yesterday. Uh, who 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 did they have on? Charlie Lee, the inventor of uh, the founder of uh, Litecoin. He was he was on the CNBC station in China. Oh, okay. Yeah. So they had they've been having a lot of these Bitcoin and uh, people in the altcoin as guests on the show now. Yep. You see, yeah, this is the last one. Let me see if I can mute this real quick. I'm out. Bitcoin futures fall. So, Stanley, I got a question. Please. They said we're waiting two hours. What's this two hours about? They said we're waiting two hours. This, this, this two that? hours. No, Give me one second. Let me try that. Do you have things you want to do before you retire? I'd really like to run with the bull. Okay, cool. Can you still hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. So the so the two hours. The two hours is um. The following months of disagreement over how to scale Bitcoin, Mm -hmm. a software upgrade known as a fork will activate in just about two hours time. If a large percentage of miners pick this option, Bitcoin will diverge, creating two competing digital currencies. Anyone who holds Bitcoin before the split will likely hold coins on both chains after the split, but make sure your exchange supports Bitcoin Cash. There's already a lot of exchanges like Coinbase, the largest exchange, which says it will not support the new currency. And to ensure Bitcoin's price doesn't see a huge swing, Coinbase is suspending trading activity today to avoid disruptions. That's the equivalent of TD Ameritrade or Charles Schwab saying we're halting trade on all stocks due to a software That's upgrade. Crazy. It is crazy, right? That's. Oh. Oh, I hate that. But anyway, yeah. So that's that's that two hour uh, gap for all of the miners to kind of like you know um, channel their okay. cash power to one one thing or another. Okay. Right. So you know, yesterday I had a I had a couple of stocks on TD Ameritrade, and they okay. ain't been doing nothing. So I was up a little bit. So I said, hey, I'm gonna sell it. Uh-huh. So I had like eight different ones. So I I called. I was like, hey, man, this is this. Can y'all just liquidate my account? 
Right. So the guy was like, well, you know, is there a reason you want to liquidate? I said, oh, man, I'm going to buy some Bitcoin. He said, me too. That's what I'm doing too. <laughs> I was like, whoa. <laughs> He was like, "That's great, that's great." Yeah, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for after the split, after the fork, and I was like, "Yeah, me too." Waiting to get the dip, and uh, it. But it, it was funny though, because he was like, "So, is, is there a reason you want to liquidate?" And I was like, "Yeah, man, I'm gonna buy some Bitcoin. This stuff ain't doing nothing." He was like, "Yeah, that's what I'm doing too." I was like, "Whoa, boy!" Even they, the traders at TD Ameritrade, even buying Bitcoin. Did he try to offer you a? Did he try to offer you a market at the to buying too? Um, I tried to buy. I, for me to buy into some other stocks, he was like, "Why don't you take a look at, at uh, this stock and that stock? You know, you could buy catch the dip." I was like, "No, nah, man, I don't want no more stocks, man. I'm buying Bitcoin." Mm-hmm. He was like, "Oh yeah, me too. That, that's what I'm doing." I'm like, "Okay, well, that's a good choice because <laughs> right, that's a good choice." So whatever else y'all trying to sell me, uh... yeah, because he kept saying the same reason. I'm just like, man, I've been holding this stuff for over a year, and it. It barely, like, by the time I paid taxes, man, it was wasn't even worth my time. It wasn't even worth your time, huh? It ain't worth your time, and that's what you're finna start getting. You're finna get a lot of stock money finna run the Bitcoin. Mm-hmm. They're going to start cashing out their stocks, and then you don't have to pay taxes until you spend the money. So if I put it in something else, I don't have to pay taxes till I sell that. So you just defer your taxes. Right. So people are going to get out while the stock market is up, and they're going to run into Bitcoin. Right, Don't a lot of big money coming to Bitcoin. Yes, yeah, a lot of big money coming to Bitcoin, and a lot of um, a lot of a lot of people, uh, including the SEC, that kind of like wants to step in and kind of start to regulate this market. Yeah, that scares me, man. If they start trading this stuff on the on the exchanges and making ETFs, I'm gonna kind of just go with altcoins if they do. Yeah, that's but but it's it's, it's kind of a, a a real touchy subject, and um, you know, I kind of I kind of seen a lot of it laid out, you know, and you know, I mean, I, I thought it was layman terms in this press release uh, that was pushed out by the United States Securities and Exchange Commissions, mm-hmm. um, and and it was all relating to that that Dow hack that that, that Dow hack. token, yeah, that Dow token that, that they they deem that to be a, a digital asset, I mean, a digital security, uh, a securities and. And they said that the, you know, the money that they use to buy into this Dow thing, they say, is a virtual currency. The SEC uh, report stems from an inquiry that the agency's enforcement division launched into whether the Dow and associated entities and individuals violated federal securities laws. All right. Mm-hmm. With the unregistered offices and sales of the Dow tokens in exchange for ether, all right, a virtual currency. All right, the Dow has been described as a crowdfunding contract, uh, but it would not have met the requirements of the regulation crowdfunding exemption because, among other things, it was a broker dealer or a funding portal registered with the SEC and the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority. But anyway, they're putting Ether in these Dow tokens in the same sentence as a federal security. Right, and Ether is not a security. Ether is a blockchain. Right. It, ether don't don't really function as 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 a money. Ether ether is what you send to secure the contract. It's really more like a contract, a, a smart between you and the token holder, right? So when, once they get that ether, that executes the contract, and they give you a token, which they can't call ether money. Right. E- ether e- e- Ethereum is only the platform in which these uh, right. applications are being created on. So, I mean, I mean you can't blame uh, the, the platform. You know, I, I can't blame the world uh, for the crime that happens in it. All right. Each, each right. has to be dealt with on a case by case situation. I can't just I can't just deem the whole blockchain to be, you, you know, um, you know, in this same category. Right. So. Hey. Hey, hey, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, what's up? What's the scope, man? I've been waiting on you, man. What's going on? Yeah, great, man. Sorry for the interruption. No Good doubt. morning, Yvette. What's up, girl? How Good you- morning. How you doing? All right. Glad to see you live and kicking with Stanley. Uh, well, awesome. man, you got to support my guy. Yes. Hey, I got a couple questions relevant to what y'all are talking about, uh, the securities and administration jumping in. Let me ask you, first of all, what would, would would that have any effect on Vertasium? I know that's one of your favorites. Do you think that's going to affect it at all? 
No, because he's not operating as money. He's operating as a contract like Ethereum, where you bring in people together and they making a deal using a peer-to-peer -peer contract. So he's just, you get, he's like a, it's like a blockchain contract. He's not money. Right. I, 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 I kind of, I am in, in agreement. It's not really going to affect it in because Reggie Middleton was very, very vocal about uh, right. what he was doing. And, you know, and he was not uh, selling securities. And he said that. What he said was software. What he's selling is the technology. What he's selling is information. Right. Right. He, right. Said, uh, he was he was very careful uh, to not get his stuff back into uh, that corner. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, so yeah, this is this is probably he's probably gonna save himself from that. A, a lot of people are probably not gonna be following the same footsteps as uh, Reggie Middle went with that, and they probably soon will be caught up uh, with the with the SEC. This will this will affect mostly anything that's used as money, like uh, Litecoin, Bitcoins, Monero, Zcash, Dash. You know, anything used as a currency, a virtual currency. Absolutely. That's where the SEC gonna try to step in. They won't be able to regulate things like uh, this used as a blockchain uh, or or smart contract because that's not money. Right. right, so we've got the, you know you say in the asset class. If it's in the asset, right. Stanley say securities. <laughs> anything oh. they need securities, well, uh, it'll affect that. But anything like uh, you know, like Ethereum, uh, EO, EOS, uh, they won't be able to step in and regulate that because I'm not I'm not using money. I'm using a token to give you technology. Okay, good. Okay, so another question is. You know, I know you're a fan of uh, Cliff High, and you know big, I saw big man. <laughs> a big fan, a big fan. Yeah, you know. So the question is, like, you know, I got a peep of what he said about this month, vet, and I did not want to hear it. Would you like to expound on that, please? I mean, that did well, not. Uh, basically, with with everything going on, everything's gonna be very volatile. You know, like uh, he had predicted that hack happened to Reggie. He yeah. said something was going on and Reggie was going to have, you know, problems getting the token to the people. Right. But it worked out because he would find a broker to get the tokens to distribute them so he wouldn't have that problem. But uh, basically he's saying, you know, you know how Crocodile got long teeth and short teeth and long teeth and short teeth? Well, that's what the market's going to They're going to go up and then they're going to go down. They're going to go up and they're going to go down. And he said, basically, saying, just hold on. You know, don't panic. Still, just, you know, just, just buy the dips and just, just sit tight because you're going to see, you're going to see swings in Bitcoin. And it's going to blow your mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, Bitcoin might be 2,800 to 3,000 a day and drop to 16, 17, 1800. Okay. You know, so, you know, the, he's saying this is not going to be for the faint at heart. It's going to shake out a lot of people. Nah, this is definitely what's gonna happen. It's gonna, it's gonna, gonna shake a lot of people. This is not gonna be for the faint at heart. It's all fun and games right now because everybody's making money. But when people start seeing that red, we know what happened when they start seeing that red two, three, four, five weeks at a time. Mm. They yeah. start panicking. So you know what he's saying is just hold on to things, hold on to tokens that that they have a use for. You know, don't hold on to something that it's no use for or it's a lot of different tokens that do the same thing mm -hmm. okay. you know yeah so yeah i've been i've been following cliff high for about probably about three years now wow. and just got into the bitcoin scene about he always made predictions about bitcoin but he just started putting out about four months ago specifically for bitcoin yeah, that was a little eerie, man, when he when he made that prediction on the 24th. And sure enough, <laughs> you know, sure enough. You know, Cliff, I always have those kind of predictions. You you be you be shocked. I've been following him for so long. The only thing is, is his gold and his silver uh predictions, they be way off. But his Bitcoin predictions has been really right on the money. They've been really like right on the money. I mean, I'm not kidding you. Like scared, like you said, scary, eerie. You're like, wait a minute. Yeah, the 24th. He said that if there's going to be an announcement made on the 24th, and mm -hmm. yeah, that was the announcement. That was a big announcement. 
Do, do you think that was good or bad? What What do you feel about that? Was that inside manipulation? Like, did he lose people? I, I, I honestly don't know. I just know that, you know, uh, they give him very, very, uh, very him and Reggie Milton a real hard time. No, you know, no exchanges won't pick him up. And, and I mean, he, he have no incentive to hack himself. Right. Why would you hack your coins when you own, you, you the holder of, 85% of the tokens. It just makes no sense. Because what would happen is what exactly would happen. People get nervous and they start dumping the coin. So it just makes no sense for him to hack his own coin. So for them to kind of insinuate that, you know, and when you think about it, when you when you find out he owns most of the tokens, it makes no sense for him to hack itself. Right. Or hack, because that was my understanding, a, a person that was not you know, that was a, a person that got hacked, one uh, account, right? That's yeah, it was a, a third party that was holding the tokens. Mm -hmm. and, um, they tried to insinuate he did it, that, that he, you know, he, he had it. But it, it, it was absolutely no sense for him to do that. So that didn't shake your faith in Fertazen at all? You no, it didn't shake my faith once I found out what was going on. I ain't going to lie, I was a little rattled. Mm -hmm. Until I, till he came out and made an announcement, and and we and I found out some things I didn't know, and then I was like, okay, it would make no sense for him to absolutely no sense for him to do that. Yeah. But in the beginning, yeah, I was a little shaken. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, okay, wait a minute, what the hell is going on? Mm -hmm. Because there had been some talk before, prior to that hack happening, where people was attacking him. You know, they was attacking the, the, the merits of Veritasium and they was, you know, saying, oh, you know, where's his white paper? He don't even have a professional design website. Where's his developers at? I mean, is he the whole team? Is he Ver Veritasium? <laughs> I mean, so, you know, it, it makes you think, you know, okay, well, you know, you just, you know, it's always good to do your own due diligence, you know, so I just start doing mine. I said, wait a minute now, I know I've been following Reggie for years. But then I just start asking myself, okay, where is his developers? Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean, and there's nothing wrong with that. You should question. You should question things if you have questions. But you know, once I, you know, did my little due diligence and he came out and kind of set the record straight, I was like, okay, you know, you know, mm -hmm. it's no need, no need for worries. No need for worries. Yeah. Okay. You so let me, let me ask you. You know, since you've been a follower of Reggie's for some time. You know, so you knew about the ultimate coin or the coin. The coin. ultra coin. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, I knew it, it when when I found when I found Reggie. Uh, I don't think he was doing the ultra coin here. Left that alone. Basically, what he was doing was he was analyzing banks and companies and stuff. So you know, he was dealing more in that field, and that's basically what Veritasium is, is does. It's gonna it's it's gonna be for people that's buying into you know, stocks and companies. It's more of like uh, Stanley said, it's more of a technology, a software than it is uh, money. Uh -huh. Because the people that hold Veritasium won't be using Veritasium. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like we would, I, I, I have, I would never be conducting a deal of that magnitude to use Veritasium. It's going to be for, you know, banks and exchanges and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Well, you, I mean, I could, I mean, if I was going to buy some stock, because what he's saying is you can use the software instead of having to go to TD Ameritrade, let's say you got an Apple stock, I can just buy it from you through my Veritasium token. Mm -hmm. So I don't have to go through some broker fees and go through TD Ameritrade no more. I can just deal with you. Yeah. So what are your predictions yeah. for Veritasium this month? I see it's going up a little bit today. Do you think it'll continue? <laughs> Veritasium is, is 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 with all of this notion and stuff and everything that's happening around it. I think Veritasium is is gonna settle out a little bit. I don't think we're gonna see the big gains that we were seeing, mm -hmm. but I probably settle back down close to the two hundred mark, and then probably over the months of August, you know, through August September, once it's Bitcoin and everybody settled down with Bitcoin, I think you know he'll get more attention. And make more announcements, and people, you know, you'll, you'll probably see, you know, three hundred dollar pop in it over the next couple of months. But right now, I think we'll struggle just to see the two hundred dollar mark where it was at. 
you know, to get up to that $200 range, it's going to be a struggle right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So let me ask you about this. You know, uh, have you heard about economy? No, I didn't. I heard you mention that to Stanley and I, I looked at, I had looked at it, but I don't know anybody that was buying it. So I don't know too much on the e economy. I haven't, I haven't really uh, seen it anywhere. I haven't seen anybody talking about it. Uh huh. Yeah. I've not e e o e o s e o s the, that one. Now that's been the buzz all week. Everybody been talking about e o s. They saying, "Oh, it's gonna be the Ethereum killer." I personally don't think so. I don't think it's gonna kill Ethereum, but mm. it's the buzz now. That and populist. Hey, what what do you think about that, Stanley? Uh, e o s versus. Um, uh, Ethereum. Uh, well, I mean, as far as the technology behind it, I mean, I, I really, you know, kind of in the dark about it. But as far as uh, the market and how they're pumping it up, uh, a lot of communities are definitely pumping it up. Uh, they're behind it, calling it uh, Ethereum on steroids. Uh, I, I've, I've been I've been paying attention into the uh, since the launch. I'm holding uh, mm -hmm. quite a, quite a few uh, EOS tokens, um, mm -hmm. but I mean, I'm, I'm yet to see the uh, uh, a working application in the marketplace right now. Right, it has a while before it hasn't even came came out yet. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh huh. Right. So you see, do you see any advantage as far as the technology go? Like what it does, it is faster, right? It is. I mean, yeah, that's all speculation right now. I mean, until I see until I see a working application in the market. I don't, I don't know right. what it is. None of proven. None, none of the claims, uh, it's, none of the stuff has been substantiated. It's just talk right now. Right. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's basically, you know, I'm, I'm pushing my token. Right, right. Ethereum, see, here's the thing. Ethereum is here and, and, and it's working and you can use it, right? Right. So you got people trying to dethrone Ethereum on a, they don't even have the the they don't have the technology it's not developed yet yeah but you know when I think about it it's like this guy Dan Latimer he is a pretty smart guy I mean mm -hmm. he did create bit shares and he did create um uh steam it right and right that those two token I mean those two coins are pretty far out those are I mean bit shares that's pretty advanced when you mm -hmm. compare it to even the blockchain or the Bitcoin uh, technology. Right. Right. You know, it's faster and it's, you know, it's a lot of things. And then when we look at uh, Steam, it, you know, we see that or Steam, when we look at Steam, that blockchain, that's pretty powerful. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, oh, so, there is some controversy with EOS right now, right? Well, let, 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 me, let me break it to the conversation real quick right now because I see the EOS token distribution. I don't know if you guys can see my screen right now, but... I can see um, it. I can see it. You said they got an EOS token distribution and it ends, um, I don't know, about 12 minutes. Uh, but I thought the EOS tokens were... Yeah, I was going to tell y'all. It's a lot of controversy right now. They keep saying something weird is happening. They did a video on my, a guy I follow named Mike B. He mm -hmm. follows the fire and Reggie them too, right. and uh, he's they saying that the token that people are buying is not the EOS token that you buying on these exchanges. They saying that's an ER, ERC twenty token, and that EOS will not be ran on the on the Ethereum platform. Mm. Okay, so, so if the EOS will not be ran on uh, ran on Ethereum uh, uh, blockchain, then. Okay, what is the to the the, e the EOS token that's been released, and what is this EOS token? That's the confusion, everybody. You, if you notice, go look on Coin uh my Coin Market Cap. The price is dropping. Well, go I look there. The coin the coin start it started dropping. It started dropping this morning. People was like something weird is going on because I was gonna buy it last night. I was waiting for a tip, and then I said, wait a minute. I seen that video. I said, "What the hell going on?" Well, it's dropped about uh, twenty cents or so, um, but yeah, I mean, but that's just in like the last seven days. It's been been uh, dollar sixty six. Start off at the beginning. Yeah, because I was going to buy it on the dip this morning. Okay. And then I said, uh, "Let me check my 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 you know run around check with the guys and see what they thinking." 
Because a few guys I know said they wasn't buying it. They was like, nah, I'm sitting that one out. And then I seen the video this morning. It, was, it said, uh, title of the video is, Something Strange is Happening in EOS. It was like, how is we still having a token distribution sale? Mm. And I'm like, wait a minute. So I don't know. You, Y'all you might want to look into that one, Stanley, because you got, you got more knowledge than I got when, you know, coming to that. But I'm, I'm kind of scared right now. I backed off of it. I said, I'm not going to buy it until they figure out what the hell going on with this thing. Was well, you going to buy up some, Stanley? I already got some. I don't know what this is. Mm -hmm. This EOS token purchase agreement contains the terms and conditions that govern your use of the EOS distribution smart contract. Uh, use of the related ERC-20 token C20 compatible tokens. No US, no US purchases. Tokens are not being offered. And this is a lot of stuff that's being happening. This happening right now. Uh, we're seeing mm -hmm. a lot of these ICOs. We're seeing a lot of these. Uh, token sales and stuff like that and they're, they're putting in real fine print or not even real fine print they'll let you know plain as day uh, this is not um uh, intended for u.s u.s citizens Citizens, okay? yeah. and they say you uh, and they hear about this in the terms and conditions no u.s purchases EOS, eos tokens are not being offered or distributed to u.s persons as defined below if you are a u.s citizen reticent resident or person located or domiciled in the united states of america including the state's territories or the District of Columbia or any entity, including without limitation, any corporation or partnership created or organized in or under the laws of the United States of America, any state or territory thereof uh, or the District of Columbia, you know, you, U.S. person do not purchase or attempt to purchase EOS tokens. Okay. Now, I mean, with all of this stuff happening with the United States, and, you know, the SEC coming in to regulate and mm -hmm. them not uh, allowing the U.S. citizens to really be, take part in these token sales. It's almost like, especially when I see it happening right now, mm -hmm. and this is just this is just my thoughts. I'm, I'm just putting them out there. Especially right now, they're doing this token sale all over again when they already did this, right? Right. They did this already, right? Yeah. yeah. It's almost like they're going to try like they're gonna take some money from somebody or something, or try to say, "Oh, well, we need to go back and we need to find out who all was from the United States and everybody that's that's from the United States that bought these anyway." Mm. Somebody well, they, just now, so you can buy it on the exchange. You can buy it on the exchange, but this token sale could be could be they could they could seize this operation that they got going on. No. Oh. Couldn't they see the operation? Know. They can stop this operation. Just like they, know we just seen BTC. We, get we just seen what? we just seen BTC, uh, one of the one of the you know largest uh, uh, cryptocurrency mm -hmm. exchanges. They just, just shut that operation down. The feds came in and shut it down. If you go to the site right now, BTCE dot uh, uh, hyphen dot e dot com, it says it's been seized by the United States. Not a federal. <laughs> now let me ask you this: Do you think that this could be political because the United States have adopted Ethereum? Ethereum is like used by the biggest exchange, Coinbase. So do you think maybe that they could see that as a threat to Ethereum, and that could have something to do with it? It's political. A lot of this stuff is getting political right now. I know, but I'm just saying. You you see where I'm going with this? Mm-hmm. Because, you know, everybody mm -hmm. been making this the Ethereum killer. Oh, this going to kill Ethereum. Oh, it's over for Ethereum. And, you know, I and I and I, so I said, I, I personally don't think so. <laughs> because Ethereum is just say this is not going to be an ERC20 token. I'm sorry. You said this is not going to be an ERC20 that token. Guys, the said EOS. <laughs> Look, look, um, I was going to go watch the video, but I didn't have time to finish it because I tuned in you. But if you go to uh, to uh, YouTube, put in Mike B. And his video <coughs> yeah, is, 
something funny is happening with EOS. Something strange is going on. And uh, he's a good person to follow to do all of this stuff. His name is Mike B. And he's a big holder of Veritasium, too. Uh oh. Okay. Well, he, I'll, I'll, I think he got an interview coming out that I think he's going to interview Reggie Milton coming up. He's going to have Reggie on. You find it, his name is just Mike B. Mike and then the letter B. Let me see. Okay, you doing Mike B. Veritasium. Oh, let me see. I usually see his stuff up there. Oh, I think he pulled a lot of his videos down, uh, Stanley. I think he pulled a lot of his videos down. You, uh, he shut the whole channel down. It looked like he shut the whole channel down. Uh-uh, because I got his stuff. I got his videos this morning. He just pulled a lot of his video old videos down. Mike B. I can't find him. No, it might be. Let me see. Let me go look at the name of it right quick for you. It'll answer a lot of your, uh, your questions, uh, Stanley, because he had, he, I think he had one of the guys on involved with your ass. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, came up when uh, that uh, populist came up with the sandwich. Yeah, yeah, because he did some videos on populist too. He didn't buy it though, because there was too much drama around it. Remember when all that drama was going on last week with populist? Yeah, populist and uh, pillar. Populist, pillar, veritasium. It was drama in the in the coin community. Okay, so let me see. Where's the name? Where'd it go? Let's go. Did he take it down? That's what I'm saying. I, I usually can find Mike B. Mike B is the white guy, right? Yeah. yeah I think he I know the white guy. He got a white board. You know, white guy, white board. Yeah. Yeah, that's him. He took it, he took it down. I seen him pop up a couple of times. He took down yeah. like he took down his whole channel. Huh? Like he took down his whole channel. Uh-uh, cause I'm 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 looking at his videos right now. Okay, well show me show me one of his videos, one of the links. Give me one of the links to it. Or what's the okay. name of it? It's just uh investing and then slash is silver undervalued. Investing is silver. Is, is silver undervalued. That might be. He didn't take down his channel, yeah. he just removed a lot of old videos. We got him, we got him, we got him, we got him. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, I gave you the wrong person on that video. This guy's name is Ivan on Tech. I'm sorry, it wasn't Mike's videos. This guy, Ivan on Tech. Ivan on Tech. Mm -hmm. And it says something strange is happening with EOS, and then it says programmer explains. I got it. Yeah, you go. You got it? Yeah, so that. Because I didn't, I didn't get, I didn't finish watching, but that'll kind of suppose it. And today we're going to talk about, we are going to talk about, and if you are an EOS invest, you, you, so I don't know if this person wants to different blockchain. And the fact that It will not be some kind of DAP on Ethereum. It will be a completely different. People are buying these ERC20 tokens uh, could be a red flag. Uh, number exactly. two is uh, that 
they have this spe very, very special I ICO, which is going on for a year, and that many, many Ether tokens, many, many Ethers uh, will be locked up in this one um, project is in, and in this one uh, ICO and will be belonging to this one company and the company is block that one and the third red flag is the terms and conditions of the crowd sale many many people do participate in the crowd sale sale but they don't really read the terms and conditions so we are going to mention that as well so with that being said let's get into it so the person writes the following i am concerned about the useless EOS token distributed these days. Concerned mm. about what impact it will have on Ethereum uh, and the whole crypto community. Uh, and so why is Ethereum even mentioned? Well, because the EOS token is an ERC20 token on Ethereum. It is distributed as an Ethereum token. Instead of launching their own blockchain and distributing their oh, own token on their own blockchain, no, we will not do that. Maybe they don't have time. Maybe they don't have the resources to do that yet. Uh, who knows? But they basically said that now we're going to launch an ERC20 token and said, and if you want to participate in our crowd sale, you will have to buy our ERC20 token. So currently, all of the EOS tokens are tokens on Ethereum and not actually tokens on the EOS blockchain. And so this person is concerned about that fact and, and he's, he or she is also concerned about the future of the future of Ethereum. And you will understand uh, later on why it is uh, uh, interesting to think about this and important as well. So every single day, the EOS ICO is locking up around 15,000 Ether. So each day, 15,000 Ether are being locked up in this ICO. And as I'm rising, there are 320 days to go in the donations of Ether to the company Block that who are developing the EOS software. As we mentioned, this ICO will go on for almost uh, for a year. And the reasoning that the, the EOS team uh, explain. So what is their explanation? Basically, they say that this is to make sure that as many people as possible will be able to participate and buy these tokens. Because you have an ICO where you set a hard cap and this hard cap is reached very quickly, and not many people will be able to participate. And if you say that our uh, ICO will run for week. It is also a very limited time and many people will, will not be able to participate. And so this is the reasoning. They're saying that each day we will have some kind of cap uh, and uh, we will have a year of such days. So this is a very special ICO and currently 15,000 Ether is being locked up. Now, I haven't double-checked these uh, numbers, but in the email, the person says 50,000 Ether are, are getting locked up. As of today, over 1 million and 100,000 Ether have been donated in return of EOS tokens. If this continues, they will end up having around million ETH by the end of the EOS distribution. And that is a lot of Ether, of course. Uh, and this is the red flag number two. And that is that uh, so many Ether will be locked up in one single ICO and be the property of one single company. So the first red flag was that this is an ERC20 token. And the second flag is that so many Ether will be locked up. Block that one have made it very clear that the outstanding EOS tokens are not a part of the future blockchain tokens re released on the EOS platform. So we've talked about that in the beginning of this video, that these tokens, they are currently uh, distributed. They will not be used on the future EOS platform. So when 
if the EOS platform is developed, you could end up with a useless EOS token based on the Ethereum blockchain, not a token on the future EOS blockchain. My concern is that people around the world are not reading the EOS FAQ and do not understand the meaning of paragraphs like these. And so now here she mentions uh, these paragraphs and we are going to read them. But uh, you as an investor may think that you're holding this ERC20 token, that you have some rights and that you will be able to go to EOS and tell them that I have bought this ERC20 token, I have invested in your ICO, so now you're obligated to give me the EOS tokens on the EOS blockchain. And this is not true according to the terms and conditions of the crowd sale uh, because they mention the following in their terms and conditions. The EOS tokens do not have any rights, uses, purpose, attributes, functionalities, or features uh, expressed or implied, including without limitation any uses, purpose, attributes, functionalities, or features of the EOS platform. So this token rights any use cases or purpose uh, on the EOS platform. And this is a very, very clear sentence in the terms and conditions. So if you are holding EOS tokens, please go to their FAQ and read for yourself. So another paragraph is that as Block.1 will not configure or launch any EOS platform, Block.1 will, will have no control over when, how, or whether the EOS software is adopted or how, when, or whether the EOS platform is launched. So in terms and conditions, they're claiming that the block that one company itself will not be responsible for launching the platform and that uh, the development team that are working and will launch this platform, that they're not really a part of the company itself. And so the company basically says that, that they have no responsibility and this EOS platform may not even be launched ever. As such, you should not expect, and there is no guarantee that you will receive any other cryptographic tokens or digital assets now or in the future. So uh, if you are holding this ERC20 tokens, EOS tokens, you have basically no rights according to the EOS FAQ. Very important. Uh, Third parties launching the EOS platform may delete, modify, or supplement the EOS software prior to, during, or after launching the EOS platform. And this is also <laughs> very interesting because say that you bought this ERC20 tokens, say that you actually received some kind of EOS uh, tokens in return, which you basically have no right to, but let's imagine that the gave you these tokens they promised. Uh, this paragraph basically says that they can alter the EOS platform however they want. They might, uh, for example, they might uh, increase the total number of coins in circulation, thus devaluing the current. So they, they can the protocol, the software, the platform, however they want, and uh, this is a right they have uh, if you read their terms and conditions. Finally, proceeds from the EOS token distribution will be the revenue of Block.1. So proceeds of the token distribution will be the revenue of Block.1. Uh, and so this subscriber continues. So you're not doing anything. And if the EOS platform is released, the developers will alter the EOS software as they like. So again, no, no guarantee at all. Uh, remember, Block.1 do not collect ETH to be funded. They are already funded, they say. So now for the conspiracy theories. And this person has some interesting th theories that um, I found interesting, uh, at least. Okay, so let's uh, 
this field. And let's see what you have to say. Do you agree with these theories or not? Leave your comment in the comment section below. So he or she basically writes the following. Theory number one, conspir conspiracy theory number one. <clears throat> Is blocked collecting all this ether just to dump it all on the market and totally crush the Ethereum network when they are ready to launch. Because as we mentioned, this company will have so many ether, they will be able to just crash the price completely. If, um, of course, if this ICO continues as it currently uh, is, uh, if, if this ICO will attract Ether at the same rate as it currently does. Theory number two, is Block.1 collecting all this Ether just to be a really big part of the Ethereum network once they move to proof of stake? This is also very plausible because when, when Ethereum moves to proof of stake, you will be able to stake some kind of uh, amount of Ether and you will earn money by virtually mining using this amount at stake. So the more stake you have, the more mining power you will have basically. So block that one in the future to mine even more uh, Ether. Are you sure as an investor that the price of the outstanding EOS token isn't rigged every day? This is the third conspiracy theory. Block that one could just buy their own token in, and in the last minute with the Ether already donated to keep the price up. So because they're receiving so many Ethers, uh, Block that one could basically buy their own token to keep the price up. And finally, the person says, am I just paranoid or do you think there is something to it? So my personal view on all of these three theories is that they are, of course, all plausible. And in the current ICO market, in the current unregulated cryptocurrency space, we should all be paranoid. We should, we should all be thinking about this possibility. It is plausible. I definitely think that uh, if uh, the EOS team really, really in their platform and that if they really believe that their platform will be, will ever be completed, they might just crash the price of Ethereum uh, and uh, make a chaos on the Ethereum platform. That, that is very possible. Uh, and so the first theory could be true. The second theory regarding that they might just want to attract as many tokens as possible to just to be a part of this proof of stake system in the future and to earn many, many ethers in the future, that would also be true. But that means that EOS themselves do not really believe in their own platform, that they are just collecting as many ether as possible to be a part of the future Ethereum where people are using proof of stake instead of proof of work and that they, they, they can make a lot of money. So I think it depends on the way EOS views their own project because EOS project guys is very, very uh, ambitious and is very, very complex technically. So if they suddenly in the middle of everything realize that their project will never happen, they might, I mean, <laughs> they might use this ether to be a big part of the proof of stake um, uh, Ethereum uh, mining in the future. And finally, are you sure as an investor that they are not keeping their, their, their prices up themselves? Basically that they're not buying their own token with the Ether that they are receiving. And of course, how can you be sure as an investor? You are never sure as an ICO investor really about anything. Uh, so I would say, no, you can't be sure. Uh, and all of these theories are, pl are plausible. And uh, although they might sound very crazy and very, I mean, how could anyone do, uh, for example, how could anyone just crash the Ethereum network by collecting many coins? I mean, we've seen so many crazy things happen in cryptocurrency sphere already. We've seen, 
all of these hacks that I have analyzed on my channel, for example, the parity hack or the DAO hack, and we've looked at the code and we've, we see how simple it is to do these things. So it's just to say that crazy things do happen, crazy hacks do happen, and crazy people will use um, this uh, sphere to their own advantage. So I think you as an ICO investor, as an EOS investor, should really, really be careful. And I myself, I, I've never had EOS tokens because I do not do ICOs, as I've mentioned many times on this channel. I think if you are doing really, really read up on the project, make sure that they have a prototype and be careful who are who you're giving your money to. I always uh, think um, and ask myself, would Warren Buffett invest in this? Or would some kind of smart investor really give these people money? And uh, often, more often than not, the answer is, of course, no. There are so many so many projects uh, and uh, although I think EOS really, really have crazy ideas about the technology I, I think in the positive way I think that to make this user friendly uh, applications like Steam or BitShares that if they can make this EOS platform and make it easy for other developers to do these kinds of applications that would be awesome that is um, uh, why I'm so excited by it, about EOS. I want to see it uh, uh, work. I want to see it succeed. But when it comes to this ICO, I'm really not sure, guys. And uh, as you can see, there are so many red flags and uh, concerns. That being said, uh, I'm very curious about your opinion. What do you think? Do you think these are valid concerns? Uh, cool, cool. Them valid concerns or what, y'all? Yeah, I think they are because why are they locking up the Ethereum? Everybody else dump them back because they need the money. Why are they locking up all the Ethereum? Yeah, right. Why lock them all up for it for uh for yeah, one year? Right? And I didn't know I didn't know Ethereum had proof of stake. You never told me that, Stanley. It, uh, did it it move to proof of stake? Yeah, it's gonna be proof of stake, and he thinks that's why they're locking up all them Ethereum. Yeah, it definitely the it is gonna be it is looking to uh, move to proof of stake. Yeah. Um, uh, but right right now right now it's still proof of work right now. Right, so but I'm, th I'm thinking I'm thinking right now that you know because I, I was watching Mike yesterday and he said that he's only holding tokens that offer proof of stake or they're gonna pay you a kickback for holding the token. And so basically, he's holding. Ethereum, Veritasium, and I think he said he had some Litecoin and a little bit of Bitcoin. He said not just because he take donations with that. And uh, he said he's right. not going to be buying any of these uh, other tokens because if you think about it, we're giving them our money and we don't know if we ever going to see, you know, and we're not getting anything for holding that, for holding that token. You know, like five well, projects a, a year or two down the road. Work. Yep. Okay. And that's the case with a lot of these a lot of these ICOs. That's the case with a lot of these markets and a lot of these ICOs. Uh -huh. Taking their money, all right, they they hard earn, you know, money that 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 you know takes their blood, sweat, and tears. All right, and they and they exchange and exchanging it for these digital currencies or these digital assets uh, uh, with promises or or with you know thinking and they thinking that they're gonna get big returns in, in little to no time. All right, but all they getting is a is a promise. You know they staking their coins. They don't know what's gonna happen in the next year. They don't know if this market is gonna crash in the next year. They don't know. Yeah. They don't know if uh, the OS project or that smart contract might be. It it might uh it might get seized. All right, they might, they might, you know, um, not be. We don't know what's going. Uh, we, we don't know what's going to happen on Ethereum. It but, could be a completely uh, different blockchain. And the fact that uh, okay, I'm sorry about that. Let me move off of this guy. That's okay. So yeah, but oh. we don't know. We don't know what's going to happen year. What do you see? No, no, I And I was asking uh, Omar, was he still on here? What do you think about it? Mm. 
No comment. <laughs> the scary, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just glad I didn't buy none. I was about to take your videos first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad, kind of glad I, I, dodged that, I dodged that drama because it's going to be it's that that you know it's happen, that this video get around that is going to be real powerful. Mm -hmm. yeah. Stan, what you think? Just stand and leave. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So this is a game changer, man. Everything is definitely changing up now. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of this stuff is, is pumping dumps. <laughs> hey, they pumping and dumping too. <laughs> a lot of this stuff is a pump and a dump. A lot of this stuff is not going to come to fruition. That's why I, why I listen to Tone Bay. Because, man, Tone Bay is a scare your ass out of buying anything except Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Monero. <laughs> it's a scam. It's think like this. It's a scam. We think about that coin. It's a scam. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it, it's an eye opener, man. Uh, definitely a game changer. You know, the game's starting to change now. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm definitely bullish on my coin, man. My uh, my uh, economy, the ICN coin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, because what it's a it's a uh, asset it's an asset class and from my understanding which i don't fully understand everything but mm -hmm. what i take it is it's gonna you'll be able to take all the coins or say several coins and put in that coin so regardless of what they do if they go up or down you know you have a a, a part in the action you know so mm -hmm. you know, i'm looking at it like that's my savior all that's my savior like i'll be able to get out there put some coins in and just deal with uh, one coin, you know, mm -hmm. and I'll also be able similar to Veritasium mm -hmm. is to, you know, rent the coin out, not really rent, right. that might not be a bad, a good word, but if, uh, you know, if you wanted to invest into the coin, you know, you're able to come in and get piece of the action, you know, so I'm excited about that. I'm, I'm really just, it's just so much confusion. It's just so much pumping and dumping all this ICO. And yeah. you know, I'm just like, let me sit back. Let me concentrate on focus on one coin. And and, and like you said, uh, Tom Babe, he will scare you like if there's only one thing and that's Bitcoin. <laughs> you know, he says that, uh, he, he, you know, he's been saying Ethereum is a scam for the longest. <laughs> And he had me scared, spooked to death when I first found him. Mm -hmm. I was ready to sell everything. Until <laughs> yeah. I started talking to other people. When they said, oh, he said everything is scam stuff, Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Monero. <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay. But man, he had me spooked to death. I was like, oh, man, I'm going to sell this stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, but it, I mean, it, it, it's definitely an eye-opener, you know, it, 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 you know. Mm -hmm. I do, I don't want to hold I want to hold things that like I said that I believe in and I believe in the project and I know I pretty much know it's coming because see here's the thing with Reggie Reggie is subject to U.S. laws, right? So he ain't gonna be able to just take these people money and 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 don't get prosecuted. And I don't think he waited this long to start turning into no comment or no scammer. Mm -hmm. Not at this point, not in your fifties. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, you know, I mean, if he's having a hard time already, they they come after him for any little thing because he can't get, get on the exchange. You know what I mean? So, you know, I, I, I like I said, I feel good about it. And I'm just going, you know, I'm just going to be careful. I'm not going to hold on the tokens that you can use uh, around these exchanges for money and stuff because they're going to start coming after that. Mm -hmm. So, you bet, do uh, you know what happened with his second meeting in uh, Jamaica? Oh no, I don't. He's supposed to make an announcement, I believe, uh, uh, tomorrow. On his Cliff High is going to be interviewing him, and they're going to talk about it tomorrow. I know he mentioned on the live stream something about a deal with Germany. Mm -hmm. Something about some type of deal, and he said he was going to elaborate more later. Mm -hmm. But um, something about a big deal with Germany, and I don't know nothing. I didn't know he had a second meeting with in Jamaica. But I think he's going to be uh, addressing all of that, that in that video with Cliff Hyde. They're supposed to be doing it tomorrow. 
Yeah. Did you see the video yesterday where he was going to sell his uh, his uh, Vertasium wares to someone in New York? Did yeah, yeah, yeah. He uh, he was walking down the street. The video kept fading in and out, uh, mm -hmm. kept cutting out. But yeah, I, I tuned in on that one. I caught him live on that one. Mm -hmm. I haven't been able to catch his videos that much no more, you know, because he popping in and popping out. Usually Reggie used to do videos videos during the midday around noon mm -hmm. then like right before dinner and i could always catch his videos but now you know because he's so you know running around his videos just kind of random times now he just whenever he got a free second he'll pop in and do a video if, if you were to ask reggie a question on that uh, on his videos he, he's begging people to ask questions he would like to explain it would you have any questions for him what I would ask him is, is, is who are your developers and, and are you going to bring them to the forefront of the project? Or is there a strategy as to why your developers are not being brought to the, to the forefront? Because I think that's a, that's, that's, that's a, and, you know, like you said, or oh, I believe in EOS because uh, uh, the guy who made bit shares and he made, uh, um, steam it. uh, well, steam it. Mm -hmm. so that's a that's a big that's a, a like a confidence booster for people let who's working on this technology I, I think it's just his project is so hush hush that it's making people ask questions because he didn't design a website he didn't have a real ico he didn't have a white paper and they saying come on now if you're dealing with all these money and all these people you don't even have a website you know, he have a little thing where you can go by and take them, but it's so outdated and hard to use. Mm -hmm. So people like it, it should be easier than this to, you know, to, to, to follow up on it, to see what it is. Because, like, people are starting to get concerned. We got no proof of concept. Mm -hmm. I mean, Veritasium wasn't cheap up until that hack. I mean, it was, what, over $220. Right. You know what I mean? So you asking me to hold these tokens, and I have to hold them, you know, in order to 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 see, you know, the return on it. And I don't have no proof of no concept of no work. Okay. It's just it's just uh, kind of like you know blind faith. You can you showed us a letter from the Jamaican Stock Exchange. You showed us what you've been doing. You tell us about it, but people want to see your team of developers. They want to see a white paper, they want to see a website, they want to see, you know, they want to see something other than Reggie. Right, because he refers to his team. You know, they, they, he makes reference to the team all the time. But, yeah, okay, you know. but who is the team? The people mm -hmm. are starting to ask now. They're like, okay, well, who, who are your developers? Who is the team? You know, the first thing you do when you don't have an I see or whatever, you, you get a picture of everybody and you say, this is the developer. This mm -hmm. is the market. This is the, the IT. This is blah, blah, blah. And you put a right. picture up there mm -hmm. and you do everybody to your team. Yeah. Right? They, yeah, they you normally have uh, LinkedIn pages and everything. The team, you know. Right. They, and so uh, you don't have none of that. And so people saying, wait a minute. You tell mm -hmm. us you're going to be on a stock exchange. You don't even have a website. You don't even, well, nobody even know who your developers is. Mm -hmm. So why why is it is it is it a part of a strategy? Is it a secret? I mean, you got I mean, when you asking people to hold a token for a year, two years, you got to give me something. You got to tell me something. You can't just pop up on a video and do a couple of interviews and talk about your project. I got to see something. Mm -hmm. And I think that could probably be why he's not on no exchanges. Oh, mm -hmm. because they're saying you're not, where, where's your developers, where's your website, where's your team? It's like you had a business, right? Yes. When you went to the bank to open up a business account, they asked you for either your business license or something saying you applied to have this business. And then they also wanted to see a website. That's how they verify you really have a business. That's right. So if I'm talking about going on some exchanges and stuff, and he's talking about where everything's patent pending, patent pending, will show us the way you apply for the patents. Oh. I mean, you got to give us something, right? You got to show me something. 
He's not showing us anything. It's just blind faith. And, and you got to understand, I've been knowing Reggie. I've been, I don't know him personally, but I've been following Reggie. But all these people never heard of Reggie until Veritasium came out. So it's like, okay, when you're asking people to, with that kind of money to buy your token or to put it on the exchange, they got to see proof of, uh, of that this is really real. Because I'm not trying to be part of no scams. I'm not saying it's a scam. But I'm just saying, thinking business. Yeah, you those know, are valid questions. Yeah, those are valid very questions. Those are very, very valid questions, valid points. Uh, I'm listening to y'all in the background. Oh, but, yeah, yeah, until they have in, until they have a working application, it is a bunch of speculation. And I'm, I'm, you kind of leaving people high and dry waiting um, for the unseen. We don't know what's going on. It's like you're just holding my money in, in you know, in lieu. Mm. Right? Yes. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So it, it's people starting to get nervous because people, it's a lot of people got a lot of money tied up in Veritasium. Oh, man, you talking about Veritasium? I'm sorry. About yeah, we're talking about Veritasium. No, he was oh, asking man. about uh, Veritasium, and I was just telling him, I was saying, you know, people starting to get, get, get shaky. They're getting nervous because, you know, it, they they asking him valid questions. You know, why you don't have a white paper? Why you don't have a website? Why we don't know who your developers are? Why you don't, you know what I mean, you tell them that you're going to the exchanges. Who, who is the team? Is, you, is Reggie the team? I mean, like people want to know. Like I don't even, I don't, I don't. When people be saying that stuff on other channels, I don't say anything anymore because he do need to give up, give people something other than some interviews on YouTube. I mean, Reg, Reggie Middleton, and, and and I, and you can kind of start to see is in, is reflecting in the market price and everything. But Re, Reggie Middleton is like a, a one man show. He's a one man army. You know, he's he's the marketer. Uh, he he's the boss. Brains in the operation. Uh, uh, right. You might even meet a programmer and a developer. Who knows? I think he is all of that. I think I think you hit the nail on the head, and 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 that's the thing. You know, if you that, then say that. I mean, yeah, yeah. you yeah, say that. You know say what I mean? Say, listen, I, I I don't want nobody to steal my ideas. You know, uh, I'm doing everything myself because a lot of these developers take your ideas and go work for somebody else, or then knock it off and go make their own coin. So you know, if that's what it is, just say that's what it is. But it's it's starting to be too much uh, uncertainty around uh, Reggie right now. You know, people starting to ask those questions. The the, the newness and the you know it don't wear off now. It's like okay, uh, who's the developer? Why don't you have a white paper? Why don't you have a website, a professionally done website? So you know, it's 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 just you know you can't you can't you can't can only ward off so much you know before people start to start you know wanting you know they want a little more answers a little, little more proof. I trust him. I'm not. I, I I don't believe for one second it's a scam or anything like that. But I'm just saying if you want people to start you know throwing money at this thing, you're gonna have to uh, be you know give a little more information out. You there? Oh. oh okay, you back. Yeah, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm sorry. I'm 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 playing daddy and That's I'm trying okay. to do this I know too. you gotta yeah, keep up with your child. So what's going on with the Bitcoin market? Can you check it, Stanley? Yes, I can. Let me put it up on the screen too for everybody else. Let me see if I got a. Uh, I got a couple of participants in here. Let me see. Uh, one attendee. Let's promote him to panelists. Mm, share the screen. These are good times for people to jump in. Uh, damn! Finally, I'm like, jeez. I'm gonna have to yeah. watch this. Over. What's up, big dog? It's goody, man. Uh, uh, just a second. What's going on? How you been, bro? Hey, Luch. Working, man. Work this big connect, man. 
<laughs> Big Connect is busting right now, right? Yeah, yo. For real. I'm on a, I'm on like a twenty twenty two dollars a day average right now. Mm. Yeah, twenty two dollars a day coming in for Big Connect. Big Connect. That's yeah, awesome. Man. So yeah, yeah the Bitcoin market right now is about twenty seven hundred four dollars. Yeah. We seen it drop all the way down to as much as um I think I seen it at about twenty six hundred uh half twenty six hundreds. I see I seen it at twenty nine yesterday. Yeah, what's the lowest you seen at? To the lowest since it's been going back up like twenty seven like right where it is right now is probably the lowest. Yep. Yeah. Gonna... So, did you cash out your Bitcoin cash? I'm sorry, I'm sorry to cut you off. Did did you um did you uh? Trading your Bitcoin cash already? Uh, uh, last time I checked, I didn't have any Bitcoin cash anywhere I, wa- I was holding it. Oh, okay. And Exodus, Exodus don't do that, right? No, Exodus, Exodus should should have a um. Any anybody Bitcoin that has the Bitcoin, it, right? Yeah. So give me one second. I'm look at this. Twenty seven. What's up, Luch the God? What's up, my yeah. brother? Can you hear me? What's good, Omar? How you doing? Yeah, man, I'm doing good, man. I'm a little confused, though, man. I need some clarity on some things. Yo, for real. Oh, yo, you know the STX uh, ICO? That's Floyd Mayweather. That's when he's sponsoring. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, 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 mess- not necessarily uh, sponsoring. You know, you can't really say that he's sponsoring anything. You're right. But he, You're right. But he is. He's, uh, I guess he, he put it out there. Yeah, he's taking some pictures. He might have he put it out there. But, you know, again, you know, I'm pretty sure – Mayweather has some people that's doing some marketing behind the scenes for him. You know, just because you see it on his page, yeah. don't necessarily. Yeah, but so, that was, uh, it was a, it was what a big you saying about uh, uh, that is, that's that's again that's that could not be that's not necessarily his statement. Did you hear it come out of his mouth? No, I said I said that's, I didn't say that's his statement. I said it was a big statement. Oh, oh that is, that is that is a big statement. Yeah. That's a big look. That's yeah, just a big exactly. look. Yeah, got man. a lot of people. Got a lot of people uh, um, expecting this thing. I know yeah, that's for sure. It, exactly. And then what I was thinking was, because the only way to buy it right now is with Bitcoin. So even somebody didn't know what a Bitcoin no, you was before. It, you can't, you're not bad with Bitcoin, bro. I mean, Ethereum, buy it. I thought I'm in Ethereum. Right. You, you need Ethereum to buy it. But um, still, you, you can't buy it with USD. <laughs> somebody will have to learn a concept, understand what's going on. And I think this is, this is a good, it was like good like publicity, basically. So that's how I was really happy with that. Definitely. Yo, you, you gotta show me how to take the uh get the MSP off of uh mothership. I'm gonna show you, bro. 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 You speeding right now, man. You. <laughs> yeah, I got you, you. Yo, you. You've been gone for so long. I'm like, yo, I gotta let I gotta let everything out right now because I'm like, I don't want to see you again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you <gotta> move, man. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. Let's uh. <laughs> We were talking. We were talking about the, uh, what was going on. What did you ask, Miss? Uh, Miss. Oh. Oh, I was going to ask you to check Bitcoin Cash. Oh, Bitcoin uh, Cash. Yeah, see if it's rising. It was at like five hundred. I mean, uh, not five hundred. Started off. Yeah, I think it was at five hundred right now. Five sixty one. Oh, it's rising, uh, Stanley. Oh. Let me see. Yes, it is. What, what is that just going? Three fifty nine. I know. I just seen it up as high as like four hundred and something. Yeah, I've seen a peak right there. Yeah, right there, the peak. Three ninety two. That's it. No, I think what made when it first dropped it was like five hundred, which is crazy still. But it's just been just a just a downtrend. It looks yeah, like because the coin is trash. You know, the coin you know ain't really nothing. It's just it's just a fork. Yeah, it's just a fork. So that's why it's like it's pointless. Like uh, it's it's gonna fall in, in value soon. I mean, I, I don't know how people are still buying it though. But I'm uh, I hope so. I hope I got some. I mean, I probably don't have a lot though. <laughs> well, Wallet, did you have yours then, Luch? Well, uh, Exodus, Exodus, um, Poloniex, Murtox, and uh, Bitrix. But I don't mm-hmm. think Poloniex will give me. I don't think Poloniex is gonna give me the Bitcoin Cash. No, not Pelona next. Nah, right. What about what about Bitrix and Mert um, uh, Murdercox? I, I can't even say that. M E R C O T X. Right. You know, no exchanges. No exchanges is giving up anything. I think you're only getting it from your Exodus. Yeah. Right. You got to import your keys and all that stuff. You know. Yeah. You said what now, bro? 
Huh? You said what now? No, nah, you asked me where I was holding it. I was, I was holding it in, in my Exodus, my Bitcoin, but I don't even have enough Bitcoin to even do nothing with. So even if, it did, even if I did get the equivalent in Bitcoin cash. So, Stanley, I got a question. Please. Why do people think that they're going to get a whole bunch of Bitcoin cash for their Bitcoins? Don't they know that you're not getting nothing extra? You're going to get this... You know, a lot of the people that the way that they say they're gonna handle as much Bitcoin as, as you have, they say they're gonna match that for Bitcoin cash. Yeah, they match you. Oh, yeah, okay. so that's every one Bitcoin you're gonna get a Bitcoin cash for. It. So that's the way. That's the way that. Uh, that's the way that all of the exchanges were handling. Um, mm -hmm. And so let me see. So, and that was what the main fuss was about. It was about holding your private key. So anybody that actually had, they control of their private key, um, they should they should be getting, you know, like I said, one for one right now. Yeah. Um, I seen it on, Bit, what is it, Bitrix? They got it on Bitrix. They got it on Kraken. And oh, they got, the people. They got uh, Bitcoin oh. Cash on, on, on Bitrix? Uh, yep, on Bitrix and also on uh, uh, Kraken. Kraken. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So let me see where I can find some Bitcoin Cash yet, because I haven't got a chance to touch no Bitcoin Cash yet. You gonna buy something? No, I'm not gonna buy, man. I won't. I won't. I won't. No. Oh, I was gonna say. Okay. Let me see. I just try to see just do I have some somewhere. Oh, okay. Hey, 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 Stanley, let me ask Luch a question, man. Yo, what's up? Hey, so you know, I you know, I'm a part of um BitConnect too, right? So I'm yeah. not trying to spin uh spread any fear or FUD, right? I'm just I just got some more questions. What's because up? lately I got involved with USI Tech. Do you know yeah. anything about that? Nah. No. No, not USI Tech. Nah. Mm -hmm. Stanley, you know so a little bit about that, don't you? USI yeah. Tech. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got, I got an account over there. Yeah. Right. Well, what's you know, the question? The question is, like, when you compare the two, which is the best? Oh, the, but all right. Are, are they are they on the market though? No, no, no. Right. That's not. That's not even uh, comparable right now. Um. You, okay. You know, well. That's, Tech and that's a um, you know some type of uh, whatever we want to call it marketing uh, platform or a uh, uh, um, ad pack type of deal uh -huh. you know um, you know okay. it's one of those. Well, okay, let me ask you like this: Do it do appear to be more sustainable or long term? No, I that's no. I don't no. mean no. I can't say USI is more of a long term or more of a sustainable. I'm talking about BitConnect, which is uh, listed on the coin market cap, uh, mm -hmm. which, which has a block explorer, so I can see everything that's going on. And and um, and that, also, on, what I like about BitConnect too is uh, there are more than one versus just one thing. Uh, uh, just you know, USI Tech, some mm -hmm. uh, a program, or you know, a program. Or computer code that's just hosted on somebody's server. I'm not talking about something that's hosted oh, yeah, on somebody's yeah, yeah, yeah. public right? versus something that's on the blockchain. Yeah. So those those two things are not comparable. Okay. The fact that BitConnect coins is on like Nova Exchange, it's on other exchanges as well. So like it it just shows that it, you can get more. Like it's not just all operating on one platform. Like not all on BitConnect.com. You can also go to other platforms to buy these coins, and you can mine BitConnect coins, which I just found out. You can mine mm -hmm. coins. I don't know if you can mine the, the other one that you're talking about. I, I you can't that. mine it. You can't mine it. It's not. It's not on the blockchain. It's not a yeah. mineable token. It's not. Yeah. It's not. It's not nothing but something that's uh, again it's programming language that's hosted on somebody's uh, server. All right. That's that's not. It's not equipped. I don't, what, what what did you bring that up one for? What what was that one? What, you 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 take a like on that one, oh? You know I uh you know it's like I want to push I want to push something you know I want to push either um uh BitConnect or USI Tech so I'm just wondering what would be the best you know I think again. BitConnect I think BitConnect is the safest one and honestly BitConnect is the safest. 
Mm-hmm. Even, if, even if the worst of the worst happens with BitConnect, there's there's so many other uh, public figures on the platform that it won't, you know, it, it kind of won't it'll be less like faulty on your end because so many other people are pushing BitConnect. But if you push this new one and then somehow it does like, you know, the many other ones in the past and, it, and they fall out, then, you know what I'm saying, people are just going to be like, ah, oh, you know, it was just another one that, that, that was built the same way with a different company instead of being constructed differently and put on the uh, actual blockchain. Again, again, we're talking about, again, we're talking about centralization and we're talking about yeah. decentralization. Yeah. All right. Those are the two yeah. things that we're talking about right now. Oh, you're talking okay. about something that on somebody's, all right, somebody's, one person, mm-hmm. all right, mm-hmm. somebody's server, all right, they're hosting it on that server versus uh, uh, something that's hosted on several people's servers. All right? So if you try, if you try to go in and shut down a, a, a BitConnect, you have to shut this thing down at many different points and not just one. All right. Yeah. So okay. you can, so you can go outside again, which is uh, just centralized, a nice, a nice, com- a nice script that's mm-hmm. uh, hosted on somebody's server, a centralized entity versus a decentralized entity. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, we can see. It's hosted on the blockchain. Everything is um, every everything is open source there. All right, so anybody can go in and view the code. All right, and uh, and see what's going on on the blockchain. Okay, so, thanks. That's it mimics, it, it mimics Bitcoin versus it mimics Bitcoin uh, versus just mimicking a WordPress site. Oh. Okay. Yeah, man. That's a good analogy, Stanley. You broke that down real good. Yeah, man. Trevon James James made $111,000 on just referrals with BitConnect. With just BitConnect, he has has like $18,000 in circulation and um, loans. And then he also made $111,000 on just referrals. Wow, yeah. Him, him and Craig is blowing that up. Blowing it up. They both blowing it up. You know what I'm saying? And um, I think I think Big Connect is like that's what I'm saying. I think Big Connect is just the honest, like the most hundred percent out of them all. I'm not saying it is hundred percent, but out of them all, um, it's the most. And then also Trevon Jank also uh reposted somebody else's video breaking down Big Connect and how they managed to uh basically pay out so much money in referrals. And pay out so much money in daily uh in daily payouts for it to make sense and for them to profit and everybody else to still profit. So um I think I think that's just uh, the one hundred percent most. Hold on. And it's still it's still you know it still could yeah. again it's still one of those markets that you know if everybody lose faith in a deal uh, okay. it can still all go down. So if everybody writes now why 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 you know all of this uncertainty is going on in the marketplace mm-hmm. if somebody if, if everybody wants to you know pull out all of their big connect or something like that which would probably kind of be hard right now but anyway because of the deposits and deposits and withdrawals are hard, halted right now over on the big connect platform mm-hmm. but if everybody just wants to stay in the big connect platform and they wanted to open up they wanted to go start on another venture and everybody just liquidated from over there you right. know, uh, they kinda, that would that would kind of you know make the market fall um help make people lose uh lose faith in that platform and then you know it can always just go down because yeah. because yeah, we got some people that actually you know start buying in the big connect when big connect was cheaper you know around mm-hmm. about ten dollars i think oh we start yeah. talking about it right so, so the people that uh that, that's been holding on and it's been staking their coins over there on big connect platform those guys have seen the, the, the value of those tokens go up substantially whereas the people that just not take notice of BitConnect right now today, uh, or yesterday for that matter, BitConnect was about sixty nine dollars. All right, yeah. so if yeah. they start staking, if they start staking their holdings in BitConnect yesterday when BitConnect was sixty nine dollars, and today you know the, the tokens are worth only fifty nine dollars. Mm-hmm. You know it's it's kind of um, you know it's kind of a loss. Yeah. All right, yeah. If I go open up a thousand dollar loan right now uh, for sixty nine dollars, or yesterday for sixty nine dollars. Uh, all right. Then I just uh you know I got I got that at, at one price. Whereas mm. at the end of my term, my loan term, if the price of BitConnect is dropped in you know by a thousand dollars, five hundred dollars, then that's gonna affect my holdings when it's time for me to cash out. Yeah, so but that, 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 you're not reinvesting. If you like, if you take out your daily profits every day, 
then you're not gonna lose nothing. But if you if you if you like compounding them and reinvesting, but then all you gotta do is hope. But if everybody has that same strategy, then it's gonna kind of like it's gonna kind of be a, a real big hindrance on the on the on the market. Yeah. If everybody is taking their profits, taking their profits, taking their profits. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I said, it's gonna yeah. penalize the entire, the entire ecosystem. Yeah, I understand. I get, I mean, I, I agree. Cause I think I think the same thing. Uh, only difference is, like I said, the fact that they the fact that you know they hold it for that three hundred days or two hundred ninety nine days. It kind of gives us like, cause even when the when the markets drop from cause before the all the, before the month of July, um, before the markets drop, BitConnect was at fifty two dollars, and all it done mm -hmm. as all these markets were dropping, only BitConnect done was kind of go up. Cause remember, I, I started my kind my uh my lending with them July fourth, you know what I'm saying? This Friday is August fourth, so it's been this Friday is a full month, and when I started, it was fifty two dollars. Bitcoin drop, Ethereum drop, like the whole market drop, twenty billion dollars off the whole market, and then Bit my Bitcoin was uh, BitConnect was still at sixty two dollars, sixty four dollars, sixty five averaging. Well, you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. so that's why I really fuck with uh, the BitConnect because you save the market when you when people don't have access to their funds automatically or when people can't pull out when they want to, they gotta pull out when it's their turn. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because anyhow, Bitcoin works the way BitConnect does, where you know what I'm saying? People can kind of just uh, hold it and they can't just take the money out when they want. They have to wait a certain amount of time. Then the price of Bitcoin will skyrocket. But the fact that people can pull it out when they want to, it's too volatile. But BitConnect is safe, well, safer because of the hold, the hold on the money. You know what I'm saying? Is froze like that? Okay, yeah, sorry for getting off the subject. Hey, so Stanley, so hey, that go to Pretty Girl. What's up, Messiah? Hi. Uh, so Stanley, so how we doing with the Bitcoin? Did they split? What's going on, man? Can I come off the fence now? I'm like, is everything <laughs> cool? What's happening? Yeah, man. Anything changed, Stanley? Yo, is, is, is Stanley moving in your screen? Because he's frozen on mine. Yeah, he froze. Him and Messiah froze. You know, she don't freeze for long. Yeah, right? <laughs> uh-huh. Yvette, you still alive over there kicking? Yeah. Yep, I'm here. True. Yeah. Daddy trying to babysit. He got to deal with his daughter. Yeah, that's Messiah. She's active. She's talking. Oh, oh, Omar, what are you? What are you holding right now, man? Talk to me. I sold everything, man. I sold everything except so strategy right now. You going to read? You going to redo or what? You what's your strategy right now? I I'm just going to focus on economy. Okay. And Vertasium. Yeah. Uh, and actually, I'm ready to sell some Vertasium to get some more economy. You said you have that much faith in the economy? Yep, I sure do. I have an announcement coming up. Hold on. Yeah, excuse me, this announcement here, man, this interrupts me. This is one thing about going live stream. Yeah, so I'm I'm really excited about uh, economy, you know, um, and it's up so far. It's an asset. How much is it, how much is it uh, Omar? It's, uh, it's like $3 now, $3, and I think it actually went up to three fifty the last time I checked. But it, what it does, man, I'm just tired of the confusion. I'm tired of the volatility. I'm tired of being all over the place. Uh -huh. uh, I uh, I don't have time to be sitting up watching trading. And uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, you know, and then like uh, even, uh, you know, and that's why I asked you, Luke, uh, about um, BitConnect. You know, I have some investors, you know, I would like to put in something. But, you know, I really feel bad when I put people in something and they lose their money or the company. Yeah. I've been, you know, I've just been around for a while here and, you know, I've been scammed several times and I look at, you know, these programs come and go all the time. So I'm just really skeptical, you know, I, really yeah, skeptical. I 100% agree with you, man, because, you know, you know, you know, I lost, I lost, I lost on a lot of platforms, but the mm -hmm. ones that I lose on is E-Trade and the reason, yeah. e -Trade, you know, E-Trade is, a, is probably the last one I, I'll deal with um mm -hmm. that, that's not on the blockchain because it's to the point now if, if people own if people 
Well, if, if a selected people, like like Zane was saying, if it's centralized, then mm-hmm. once people get greedy enough, they, they can they can say anything to to cut you know the money train off. They can say anything. Oh, we got hacked. They can say they got shut down by the police. They can say whatever they want, and that I don't like. So what I liked about what why I really like BitConnect is because it's it's it's, it's decentralized, and people people who hold BitConnect can hold it on can hold it and 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 mine it. Which means that they we can the the price of it is kind of back in our hands. We can kind of control the price of BitConnect because even if the company wants to shut down, if anybody who's holding BitConnect sells it, you know what I'm saying, go by sell orders, then it's still a coin marketable. You still don't lose your money, even if the sh- even if the company disappears or not, you don't lose your money if you still have access to them coins. Mm-hmm. Have you taken a look at uh, um, uh, economy? Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, great. Okay. I've been I've been holding economy since like March. Wow. So you got it when it was a dollar ninety seven or something. Yeah. Really? Yeah, man. Okay. So you know more about it than I do. You know, well, so when I first heard of it, I, I bought him I bought into it the minute it hit the exchanges and I bought it on Kraken first. Uh-huh. <laughs> the reason I bought it was because <clears throat> when it first dropped, they said that like like you were saying, um, it kind it kind of saves you the hassle because they kind of trade it for you and then put all the earnings into one coin, which is the economy coin. Which mm-hmm. I, I I fuck with it. Only thing I didn't understand was, bit when Bitcoin first took that rise to twenty nine hundred, mm-hmm. um, economy didn't move. Like when Ethereum when Ethereum got to three hundred, it didn't move like that. So mm-hmm. I, I was I was I was too confused on what was going on because I was I, I watched. Bitcoin and Ethereum markets jump to see if economy would, you know, match and jump it with it. Because that means if, they, if they're doing good, then the economy would do, be doing good. But economy, I've been holding this since March, and I think only only up until like last month, like has it even gone up a little bit. Mm-hmm. You know, but but now my understanding was that it, it doesn't go live until this month or the day. It's supposed to start right. off the day. Yeah, it hasn't done anything. It, it don't go live till today. They said it's going live on the first, but with all this drama going on, I don't, I don't know what's happening. But it's supposed to launch today. Yeah, I, I, I'm holding it, so I, I hope so. I'm wow. Mm-hmm. Again, again, we got a lot of stuff going on in, in in the market. Again, especially with this Bitcoin hard with the Bitcoin hard fork, uh, and a, and a lot of these uh, projects being built on on the Bitcoin blockchain, and, and some of them being built on Ethereum blockchain. Uh, both of those are kind of up under a lot of scrutiny right now. Um, so uh, with the hard fork happening, you know, uh, it, it's kind of limited on, on how, how, how production can go. All right. Production going to have to go one, one of, one of uh, multiple ways right now because, uh, because of the hard fork. So everything that was built on the, on the Bitcoin blockchain is, is, uh, subject to, uh, the hard fork that's imminent right now. So, uh, mm-hmm. uh, and again, when we're talking about Ethereum and all the projects that's being built on top of the Ethereum blockchain. Because we're seeing projects being built on Ethereum blockchain, we're seeing projects being built on 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 the uh, the Bitcoin blockchain. We're now even seeing projects on, being waves. Built on, on the Waves platform. Oh, yeah. Platform. Uh, and, and, and so all of these different um, entities in which these projects are being built on. So uh, back to the Bitcoin blockchain, when we got we we got a uh, uh, you know this this uh this evident split that's happening. Or the mm-hmm. Bit 91, Bit 148, the Bit, all of these different uh, Bitcoin improvement protocols in which the the direction of the Bitcoin blockchain can go, or the blockchain uh, can go. All of the rest of the the projects being created on it, they have to model after you know this direction, uh, the, right? The direction it's going to take. So we kind of got to, again, we got BitConnect. BitConnect has halted deposit. They've halted withdrawals, all right? Uh, also because they're kind of like, they're subject to, again, what happens with this, with this, with this split, with the chain split. So we got to kind of uh, uh, wait for all of the smoke to clear. I don't know, I don't know which uh, platform that the economy is being built on. Uh, let me see if I'm right here on the, on the site right now. Let me share my screen. Um, let cancel that. Share this screen, and so a digital assets management platform, mm-hmm. a new and unique uh, technical service that allows anyone from beginners to blockchain. Let me see. Um. Yeah. 
you know, I, I mean, come on, Lucha. I'm looking at this like this could be, you know, the next big connect in a way. You know, it's like instead of investing or loaning to buy my money, you know, I'm putting it in here, you know, or it could stop a lot of programming. And like what Stanley was talking about, this is not being part of a company or a, de a centralized a platform, but more I'm still in the decentralized thing. You know, you know, it's just... It just so, makes sense to me, man. So what, what, wait, what wallet are you holding it in? I'm holding on plat uh, on a Kraken. Oh, Kraken too. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's the only place you can get it right now. It's Kraken. No, but, that just, um, I think Liqui have it too. L E L I Q. Yeah, I think I bought some on Liqui. I, I, if yeah. I'm not mistaken, I probably did buy some on Liqui, unless I'm my EOS focus on Liqui. But I forget. Yeah, well, but but anyway, uh, oh, oh, this is uh -huh. it's a digital assets management platform. Where's the digital digital assets management platform? Where's that? A digital asset manager. You got it highlighted here. Development okay. blockchain digital asset management. Platform. Right. So where's this at? Where's this platform at? Where's this digital asset management platform? Where is it at? Yeah. Where's the app at? Where's the application? Where is it at? It's supposed to launch today. That's what you see, right? Yeah. It's supposed to launch today. I mean, I haven't. It hasn't launched. I haven't heard any news today. All, All I'm right. hearing about is. Uh, all I'm hearing about is Bitcoin. For right. And, and it, they, they suspended it uh, because of the Bitcoin thing. Exactly. Oh, See, okay. Exactly what I have highlighted. Exactly what I have highlighted. It, it, it's a, a blockchain base. All right. This is a blockchain base. So, it, again, it's subject to what's going on in the market right now with, uh, uh, you know, the split. The split that's going on. All right. So, we have mm. to wait for the smoke to clear for a lot of this. A lot of these projects again to start back uh, with um, uh, with deposits and withdrawals. I don't know if you guys are over on Poloniex. Even Poloniex has halted withdrawals uh, uh, temporarily. So again, a lot of people are are, are still hold they holding fast right now. Hold fast. Do not panic. Have no fear. Bitcoin is here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you should make a shirt to say that, uh, Stanley. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I mean, so I mean, uh, again, we got a lot of we got a lot of uh, uh, prominent people, all right, a lot of a lot of influential people in in the markets right now. That's just stopping everything, halt everything. Do not panic. Do not you know? Do not just jump in and try to just throw your coins around because yeah. again, you're don't at, overthink right? it. Don't overthink it. Right. Do not overthink it. The best mm -hmm. thing is to just hold fast right now. Just sit. Just sit down. Sit on your hands and hold. All right, because it's 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 a very volatile market out there. You know, it, it is a dog eat dog world, and um, <laughs> we we gotta wait for the smoke to clear. We just have to wait for the smoke to clear. Smoke a lot clear. of people are not, mm -hmm. not even okay. on deposits or withdrawals. All right, we we talk about BitConnect a, a, a lot. All of us are promoting uh, Bit BitConnect. This is my Bit one of my BitConnect teams right here. Even BitConnect has stopped Bitcoin deposits and and withdrawals. Yep. They stopped it. You cannot even make a deposit right there right now. Since so, yesterday, too. Then, yeah, since yesterday. So again, they just they 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 have made a memo out of it. They put up an announcement out about it. You know, so all it's recognized. It is recognized, and they're taking uh, 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 extreme precaution to to protect the investors' money and also to and protect the holdings of the company. All right, because of, mm -hmm. you know, these guys, you know, even the big boys is playing with big purses. All right, the whales, even if they come in. And they, they make, they make you know, a trade or a transaction, and they're subject to what's going on right now. Their their coins can be lost in, or stuck in loop uh, because yeah. of uh, this 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 blockchain uh, split that's going on. So economy, uh, we probably we probably will see that uh, kick back off, uh, you know, in a couple of days or so when the smoke clears. Uh, and a lot of these other projects that may seem like they they may be they, they may have been uh, scrapped or just Left, 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 uh, laying by the wayside. You know, we, we may see a lot of these pick back up in a couple of in a, in a couple of days or so. Y'all seeing the market starting to change? Uh, like we say, the markets were just all all red for the last couple of days, and now we got you know the markets are starting to turn back green. That's a good thing. About ten percent. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Litecoin is down a little bit, but uh, Dash is turning around. The Dash market. Look at the NIM market. Uh, Ethereum Classic is actually starting to kick off again, and so we we are seeing the market starting to turn around. We got a break from all of that red, 
uh, that was hanging around in the market. But for the most part, some of these tokens are starting to come back to light. The Ethereum, uh, Litecoin, uh, Dash token is going is going to start you know, waking up again. Ethereum Classic, we had it about you know had thirteen dollar mark last week, uh, or a couple of days ago. Monero was thirty nine dollars. A uh, Stratus was under five dollars. Uh, five dollars. <laughs> and the EOS token we see is a sideways market from from uh its half point. What about July twenty? Uh, fifth or so, right? I mean, yeah, July twenty fifth or so, and then it's kind of like been down and sideways. Bitconnect market is down about thirteen percent. Nah, that mm -hmm. that uh, that, uh, hold on, the, um, Bitconnect that price on Coin Market Cap is not right because um, on the other exchanges, it, on the other exchanges it's so low, but on actual Bitconnect, if you sell it right now, it's, it's like sixty six dollars. You're right. Well, well, this, this, this is the coin market cap is right. You know, it's just an average amongst oh, yeah, uh, all, yeah, yeah, all yeah. of the exchanges. But they way off. They way off because it's, it's actually sixty six dollars. Sixty six dollars right now. Ten dollars over. It's the ten dollars mm -hmm. down right now. Mm -hmm. Hey Stanley, go rep, go back for a minute. Go rep back for a minute. Awesome. Uh, sorry. All right. Yeah. Okay. Just noticed that uh, uh, that um, Vertasium is up. And look, and look, uh, economy is right under there. And waves, what Luce just brought up, you know, that's coming up fast. Waves. They've got a lot of new tokens being built on their platform. You're going to hear a lot about waves over these next couple of months. Definitely. Waves is definitely uh, uh, one of those things where platforms, projects can be built on top of this platform. You can create your own coin on the waves platform. We've seen one of those, uh, we see a lot of crap coins. Well, hey, shit uh, being created on the Waze platform right now. Yo, uh, so, is, is that how you feel about Crypto Ping? Uh, crypto Ping, they did have an application, a working application behind it, but I know I heard something. I don't know something about some coins and grinding and grinding the coins. I don't know what it was, but you know, I know that was a garbage coin that was being that's being created on it. Damn, oh, man. Grind tokens or something. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm hoping that I'm hoping because I, uh, I I use Crypto Ping like um for signaling. So it's yeah, like, yeah. Oh, exactly. exactly. We got Crypto Ping. Crypto Ping is a signaling app. Uh, it's, it's, uh, again, that, that project was built on the uh, on the Waze platform. It's a working application. I like it. I like the pinging. You know, it's constantly giving me updates on when substantial changes are happening in the market. Um, and, and I can I can take those signals and I can go take action on those signals. <laughs> I mean, so it's not like it's not like some, uh, you know, some some just frivolous app that they got out right some meaningless app this app is actually giving me signals you know where it's going to trigger me because again this market is moving so fast there's so much there's so many distractions and stuff in this marketplace when i can get some factual information and i can make a conscious decision on uh, that's valuable to me so uh, crypto ping is not really just like you know uh, uh just a, uh, you know a shit coin to me um because it has an application that I, like i said that, that's valuable to the marketplace in my case, at least, I'm a, I'm a trader. So, hey, this 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 signaling app that gives me signals uh, related to the to the uh, the cryptocurrency exchanges, I'm all for it. Let me true, true. Yep. Let me see if I. Can. So, Stanley, what are your top five coins? Like, what it like? What what are your top five things that you want in your wallet that you want to hold on to? I okay, that's a good question. <laughs> That's a good question. I gotta have me some Bitcoin in there, okay? okay. I gotta have some Ethereum in there. Um, I want some Monero in that thing. That's for sure. Are oh, you gonna you gonna you gonna try to get some Monero? I was thinking about it too. I was gonna start mining some Monero. I don't know. Yeah, you gotta have some Monero in there. Yeah, um, dash, of course. Yeah, I gotta have some Dash in there. You know how many how many I have so far? I got four so far, huh? Mm-hmm. Man, my top five coins. You know, it's kind of. Uh, are you still holding that? Um, uh, what I'm is it? Quite a, I'm, cool, I'm holding quite a few coins. So yeah. <laughs> my, my top five picks. Mm -hmm. like five that you wouldn't sell. Like, like these five, I'm not gonna sell them. I'm just gonna add two. I'm not. I wouldn't sell them. Yeah. I mean, unless you know, you might sell it to make a trade, but then you you won't sell that trade to get it back. But like, what are your top five? Coins that you hollering? I'm hollering Bitcoin. I'm hollering Ethereum. I'm hollering some Dash. Uh, and I'm also hollering at Ethereum Classic. You know, twenty. You are? Yes, yes. Uh, and Monero. Um, 
Yeah. I'm not I'm not selling. Ethereum classic gonna pay off. I got some too. I don't have that much, but I have some. I bought it on the deal. Yeah. I'm how I'm hollering Ethereum Classic and I'm mining Ethereum Classic. It's, yeah. big, it's big in China, man. They love Ethereum Classic because it's very, very cheap. <laughs> it's very, very cheap. It offers you the same it offers you the yeah. same thing as what Ethereum offers you. All right. Minus a minus a small update. Okay. Yeah, and so the it has room to grow. So it has room to grow too, you know, in price. Yeah, it's it's a room for growth, right? Yeah, it's room for growth for price. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I, mean, I think what do, how you feel about Vertisium? You think, you think Vertisium Vertisium should be a, a, a hold still? Yeah, Vertisium is a is a holder. You cannot like dump that right now. So I mean my top five coins without Veritasium in there, yeah, Veritasium is in there. I can't dump my Veritasium right now. I mean, I mean, just look at the Veritasium marks real quick. I'll put up the chart real quick, and I just pull it up. Uh, you can see the spikes right there. You can, you can wait a minute. You can see the spikes I want to show. I can't. How much is it right now? I can't see the price. Woo! The what price is one hundred and fifty, one hundred and fifty-five dollars right now. Let's just go okay. look at the one-month chart. I'll show you a one-month chart real quick. And. Let's just go and look at these peaks real quick. Two oh three. I'll just look at the all time charts because uh, um, the Veritasium uh, had its ICO, uh, their token sale started April 25th this year, right? Mm -hmm. so already mm -hmm. we seen this thing spike at about, uh, if I can get this pop up on here, I know we seen the spike at about 500 bucks or so. Nah, it didn't go to 500. Four, four from 400, 500, it definitely went to the 400 to 500 mark. 25 is the highest it's been. What, two, what'd you say, 225 the highest it's been? No, 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 425. 425. Yeah. 425. Yeah, it, so that's why I was telling, oh, it's gonna, it's gonna, it, it's gonna go steady now. It's gonna take small gains. Anytime a token shoot up like that, it's, it's gonna take a while because this is about where the market is willing to pay for it. The 155. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. until he start, till he start coming out, giving us a little bit, a little bit, and uh, people want to buy it, they'll they'll buy it. But right now, that's what people are willing to pay for Veritasium, right around the one forty ish, one sixty ish mark. Yeah, yep. That's what that's what it looked like. The market has been selling there right now too. Um, yeah, I'm I'm I haven't seen the the market move too far from that. Like one. Yeah, that's what people are willing to pay right now. Like I said, until he come out with you know something, he got something going on with it. Is you're not gonna see. Too much price action in Veritasium right now. Right. <clears throat> well, it was at uh, 200 before the hack, right? Yeah, it was at right before the hack. Right, 220 mm -hmm. right before the hack, yep. Yeah. Yeah, I was hoping that he had some good news yesterday after going peddling his wares, you know, I was hoping that he did something or, you know, maybe he'll make an announcement today about what happened yesterday because he was very enthusiastic. That was, you know, one of the first times I've seen him back out since the hack, you know, talking this, about it. This is taking a toll on him because he looks tired, you know. He yeah. Did, yeah, you can see, you can see, you can you see, see the it's taking a toll. It's taking a toll on him, this, you know, trying to get this this token going and, you know, it's taking a toll on him. You can see the gray starting to pop out of him and everything, huh? Oh. It, 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 it like Obama. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 you know what, Missy Bet, Missy Bet, I'm telling you, I have I have witnessed Obama do the same thing like right after he took office. I'm talking about that stuff what you gotta be stressed that's aging us like this. Man. Right, right. I'm proud not of that you know, that guy. Same thing is happening with Reggie Middleton. Obama looked like he about six years old when he came out of there. Now he got his pep in his step again. He don't dye his hair back black. <laughs> he chilling again. Hey, he chilling again. <laughs> but he was stuck in that office. Yeah. Hey. This, this, was, this, was, this was a stressful business, period. Anytime you're dealing with money, it's stressful. 
Right. You know, and that's what I'm like. I don't know if I have to, you know, I got to get out. I got to get more exercise. You know, I've been sitting up here watching the screen, you know, hoping and wishing and like trying to figure out this is the most stress I've been under since, you know, <laughs> man, in my hey, life. Hey, just buy it and put it away. Don't look at it. I used to do that when I first bought it. I used to look at the corn market cap like every two seconds. And, uh, and my husband said, what are you doing? This stuff is consuming your life. It's right. like it ain't what a penny you sit there watching. What are you doing? <laughs> I said, I had to catch myself. I said, you know what? I, I don't even do this. I normally, if I buy stuff, I buy stuff I believe in, I just put it away. So I had to catch myself from doing that too. Uh oh, it, it will it will get to you though. Yeah, right. You know, because I you know, I made a decision. I'm like, you know, I got all in, you know, I haven't been out cutting no trees. But then in a way, I'm like, wow, I, I did better swinging around from tree to tree, you know, like Tarzan. Oh, 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 don't laugh to yourself like that, man. Don't, don't, don't. Man, you know, but it, it's exciting. It's a different type of excitement. It feels good to be on a leading edge, you know. Uh, yes, it does. You know, I, I know we're, we're the pioneers. We're going into some uncharted territory. You know, for me to do the trees for another 10 years, which I doubt, you know, at 64 years old, I had a stamina or the desire to go up there, you know. It's, mm. But like here, you know, it's like it's exciting to be into something new, something that's uh, that, you know, actually, you know, I'm getting profit. I saw money. I've been making money, uh, you know, the last. You're few taking your profit now? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm in profit. That's, good. that's a good thing. You got to have dry power. You got to yeah. have money. You got to have cash sitting on the side. All your money can't be in tokens. Got to take that profit. You can buy it back later for cheaper. Yeah, I'm telling yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, I, I, did, I, I tell myself all the time. I, I told Stanley, I said, if Veritas and Pop, the 250, I'm going a, I'm to a sell it and I'll buy it back cheaper. Yeah. But I'm, but I'm going to take my profits. Mm. You hear that, Stanley? You know, I need to I need to listen to Stanley more because, you know, he's always urged me to take my profits. You know, I'm, you know, and I have that that uh, that uh, grandiosity. Oh, it's six. Oh, it's going to 10. I'm not pulling nothing out. I, I'm just <laughs> letting go, let it go. Hold on. You know, it's going to 10. It's going up. I, I can see another Bitcoin coming. And hey, you got to listen to Stanley because, you know, you know what? what I, I respect Stanley so much because. Uh, you know, his ability to move around in this. And, and, and this is a good thing for to see so many brothers in this space. You know, usually this space is dominated by, you know, I'm not saying we dominate, but it's a good thing to see, you know, black males that, you know, know their way around it and, you know, and able to make a living. You know, you're able to make money. You're able to make a difference in your life through this thing. And, and not only that, you can teach other people how to come in and do it. You know, Sammy Sharp, he's he not no slouch. Yeah, Luke, he's sharp, sharp too, man. He he knows a lot. He he's been in it for a while. He's, you know, he's very sharp, man. Like him, Stanley, uh, you know, they get together and do live streams and channels and everything. Yeah. It'll bring and encourage a lot of more, you know, of us to come into the market and to you know get these coins and. To yeah, I, I mean that was my thing when I met there. I said, hey, you know, it's not enough women, and especially mm. African American women in this space. That's mm. you're 100 like, right with that. Definitely. I don't see no women in this space. I be on these streams and it's all males. You know, my husband say, can you make some women friends in this crypto? <laughs> oh, God. You're talking to people all over the place. Ain't no women doing this. I'm like, women don't normally have the, uh, you know, they don't have that stress tolerance. Yeah, yeah this is a stressful thing right here, right now. <laughs> but you know what? You know what? These, 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 these stressful times are called because it's not only stressful right now in these cryptocurrency markets. It's stressful in life as we know it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know, people, people are stressed out with their job, with their time, yeah. spending time with their kids. They spending all their time in their work. They know it's not adding up. Yeah. So people, yeah. people are really opening their eyes and they seeking out, you know, uh, um, opportunities like this one, like this is presenting itself. And with the buzz and, 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 and all of the excitement that's going on around Bitcoin and around blockchain technology, I guarantee it's going to be so many more people uh, from, from all races, sexes, uh, creeds. They're going to be coming out of nowhere. I got a lot of women already that's just been that's just been hitting me up over the past week. I want to know about Bitcoin. They, they want to understand it. You know, and mm -hmm. so this is uh, this is the time where we're going to start to see all of the all our people start to come out. 
we just got to be in position uh, uh, and, and ready and ready to teach and ready to lead them because they're right. going to be here. Yeah, because see, we're talking solutions. This is the solution to all the dilemmas that we're facing. Well, one of the things that I've been finding is I've been seeing so many people saying I quit my job. You know yeah. what I mean? Like they're like, man, I quit my job. Man, oh my God, I'm so I'm not, man, I'm just I'm having a life now. I don't I'm not stressed out. You know, I was barely able to pay my bills and you know, yeah. and I found some cryptos and my whole life changed. So, you know, that's one of the things I'm seeing, you know, that this is doing for people, too. You know, people are able to quit their jobs. You know, they got, got a job and I barely can pay rent. Right. You know what I mean? You can, you can right. barely live. And that's you what stretch it out. Hey, real quick, I'm sorry, guys. I, I got to go. It was nice talking to you. I got to run out real quick. Yeah, nice to see you, Luke. Take All care, right, man. Cool, 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 All right. Cool, cool. I, I got I to gotta take some more calls to y'all. So I'm going to end this right okay. now and I'm going to be jumping back home, man. I gotta, we gotta, I gotta, we gotta be a part of the conversation. We just can't keep sitting on the sidelines. Uh, oh, you got a lot of information to bring to the table, Miss Yvette. You definitely got a lot of information to bring to the table, Luch. Bro, you got a lot of information to bring to the table, and so we want to come together and do this, you know, as as a community. All right. All so thanks, okay. uh, thanks for joining me, everybody. Like I say, I'm gonna pop back in again. If y'all, if y'all shoot some live, I'm there. All right. So all right. All right. Talk to you later. Bye bye. Right. Thanks a lot. All right. Peace.